absolute shambles. Absolute look, shambles. Look. Maybe in the next five to ten years, I'm going to start, you know, Dear start getting Lord. used to this a bit. Maybe I'm going to start doing a little better. <laughs> I wonder, I honestly just wonder when you hit live. That's the real question. I didn't. That's the thing. Like, um, Well, anybody. Anyway, yeah. um, welcome, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> we are live. <laughs> Woo! Let's Un- go. Unbeknownst to us, we are live. Um, so, tonight, we've got a big game on our hands. One hell of a game. Hi, everyone. Hi, Thomason. Hello. Um, United versus Atalanta. Now, why is this a big game? Oh, wait, by the way, um, I wanted to, just before now that on, I remember, Thomason, can you add Mira Alexandra on the football app so we can come into contact with you? We wanted, we wanted to talk to you about something. Don't All worry, right. it's nothing Not Nothing bad, horrible. nothing, don't worry. Anyway, yeah, yeah. big game tonight, Man United, Atalanta. Please, guys, tell everyone to get involved. We need viewers. We want... Just so much we attention want to get and energy running through Whoa. our channel. We, we want to get it hype up in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're in a mood today. Um, but yeah, big game. Big game, absolutely. Um, Huge game. Let's start with a prediction. We haven't done that in a while. We have not actually. What do you think the score is going to be? Like, cause genuinely right now. Dear Lord. Because uh, this is a tough one. This isn't like it's going to be an easy it thing for home, us to predict. And I think that um, Ole... Is gonna know. He's gonna be like, hold on, <laughs> in his little brain. <laughs> if I lose this, I'm gone. Hello, Elvis. <laughs> so, oh, <laughs> the Elvis. Hi. <laughs> the one and only. Um, if we lose, if he loses, then he's gone. And yeah. I think he's one of those bastards who will actually just turn up when you don't expect him to anymore. Like you know, what I mean? no, not Ole is not a bastard, but you know <clears> what I mean. One of those annoying people who every time you want to just get rid of them, they end up becoming good again. So I think he's going to win this game. I think it's going to be 2-0. And I think tonight's the night Ole's <laughs> going to get sacked. Okay. So I think it's going to be 1-3 for Atalanta. Actually, you know what? I don't think they're not going to concede. <clears throat> oh my God, look. It's Mikaela Van Zutphen oh in the live God. stream. Oh my God. I'm starstruck. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, I think 2-1 is more reasonable than 2-0. Okay, all right. Yeah. All right. I'm going with 1-3 for Atalanta, by the way. Okay. Like, my- you're mental. Yeah, um, You're insane. O- Ole is getting sacked. Okay. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the stream. Everyone tuning in now. We had a bit of a blunder. If you want to go back really quick, we went live. Don't watch that, please. <laughs> it's embarrassing. Um, do you want to just talk them through the lineup while I tweet? Absolutely. I'm going to tweet it out to everybody. So everybody go on Twitter and tweet it out. By the way, Thomas, and I would just like to say I did not see the like. For yeah, the, the like the target didn't, didn't hit. Didn't hit it from my hair. <laughs> Here is the lineup, everybody, as you can see on the screen right now. Here we go. We've got David De Gea, Luke Shaw, Harry Maguire, Victor Lindelof, Aaron Juan Bisaka. Aaron Juan Bisaka, by the way, horrible rating on Sofa's score for Manchester United. 5.3, his what? rating. Um, Scott McTominay. Well, that's because he's bad. <laughs> Scott McTominay. Uh, Fred, Marcus Rashford, Bruno Fernandes, Cristiano Ronaldo, and Mason Greenwood. And then we've got for Atalanta a quite Antonio Conte kind of side. Mm-hmm. Th- it's a three four three, obviously. Um, not three four three, three four one two. We've got Pasalic playing a bit further back two from, strikers from the top. two strikers. But we're talking about Muriel, who is who is a demon in attacking. Oh, he's good. So fast, and, and we've got Ilicic, really who is form. so experienced, obviously. Yeah. Uh, so we've got Martin Derun, Demiral. Palomino, who's been an amazing centre back, it seems, which I do not know who it is, but we're gonna witness his greatness tonight, I guess. Uh, David Zabagosta, Remo Freuler, Tun Coop Miners, Joachim Mal, Pasalic, Muriel, and Ilicic. How do you like those pronunciations, everybody? I was on point with everything, right, guys? Mal. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. we've got on the bench Diego Dalet, Alex Tellez. Eric bench Bailly, warmers, you know. <laughs> Paul Pogba, Juan Mata, Jaden Sancho, uh, spent a lot of money for a guy on the bench, yeah. Jesse Lingard, Nemanja Matic, Donny van de Beek, another big spending money there, yeah. nothing doing, doing nothing, Elanga, Edison Cavani, and then for Atalanta, two, three less players, Francesco Rossi, Marco Sportiello, Matteo Lovato, Giuseppe Pezzella, <laughs> Giorgio Scalvini, <laughs> Alexei pronounced- Miranchuk, Ruslan Malinowski. Malinowski, Duvan Zapata, Roberto, Roberto Piccoli. Piccoli. 
piccoli. Piccoli. <laughs> like piccolo, which means small. Sancho the bench warmer. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's incredible. Yeah. What is he doing on the bench? Like, holy moly. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's the lineup, so I went quite into it. <laughs> I gave, gave a lot of passion into it. I yeah. want to see what everyone thinks. I'm going to go with Atalanta, obviously. Okay. Here to win. <laughs> yeah, yeah no. you are in the, the yep. large There's minority. 80,000 people that disagree <laughs> well yeah i would imagine <laughs> um yeah look this is they're missing this is a weak link for me they are missing huge uh, lindelof is better than him i think i agree varan is not playing was um obviously very experienced very decent player for them Wan Bisaka has been dipping in form and that's for all of you out there who are saying that he's one of the best right backs in the premier no. league that's Luke just Shaw as well horrible rating they, we're going to see if Rashford has an impact on this team because we saw the impact he had when he came on against Leicester, obviously. Mm-hmm. So we'll see. Yeah. Um, what do you think? Atalanta... Sh- Mikael is getting some love and I love it. Yeah, she should be. Um, Atalanta, they've got a pretty strong team. Like, no, I think they are. They, Mela, Coop Miners, They've Sabacosta, only been getting better. Darun, Demiral, questionable. Just looking back at that own goal that he's got. No, he's a good player. They're all solid players. So it's th- a good team that plays as a unit. Yeah, and I think with the under Gasperini... Um, He's been a very good coach for them. He's achieved a lot with them. Yeah, so I honestly think they can challenge tonight. If, they, if, absolutely, they could. If not win. No, they could. They're going to make it they hard could. for United. It's going to be a very difficult night for United. Yeah, they're not going to go down without and a And missing Varane in the back is a huge loss for them. Yeah. I don't know if Fred and McTominay is the best midfield duo. McFred. McFred. As they call him. Wow. That's what they call him. <laughs> really? Yeah, McFred. Well, that's just that's sad. Speaking of Champions League, yeah. um, there was a lot of matches yesterday. Let's just you know browse through them. Yeah. Um, so obviously that Liverpool Atletico Madrid game was absolutely insane. Oh yeah. Um, but yeah, let's start with uh, we've got you know some. This is a some uh, stuff. Up. I don't know if I'm gonna pronounce this again. Squaka. Squaka. Yeah, they they've got some nice stats and some nice you know. Inside but yeah, it. they basically just um, highlighted some moments. Phil showed in, in Bruges. Uh, very questionable. Let's just not talk about that, <laughs> well, that pun. It was a absolutely beautiful goal. And it was an absolute... Well, yeah, João Cancelo took it down them. like he was the best striker in the world. Uh, Phil Foden with an incredible pass that we can't show you because of copyright issues. But absolutely incredible stuff. Um, yeah. Yeah. Exquisite assist. 5-1. They destroyed a team that managed to hold their ground against PSG. I wonder, yeah, I wonder how many goals City are going to score against Club Bruges at home. In Manchester, yeah. You know, One it's, hell of a game it's almost to like to. a game you'd want to be at. Yeah, it's wink, something, wink. yeah. <clears throat> I, I would love to be there. Cole Palmer enjoys <laughs> dream cameo. Um, so basically, he scored a goal. Getting a love from Pep as well. He's the, the third game. teenager to score after Phil Foden and Kelechi Hinacho. Obviously, Foden's gone on to do a lot for City, and Kelechi has done a lot for Leicester. And, and, and we'll see where this kid goes, obviously. Yeah. Could um, be another kid from the youth system. Pop for up the, the pep um, Oh, yeah, quote. here we go. When he Cole has a special quality in front of the box, a tan that is difficult to find. When well, he has the ball, the <laughs> ball there, most of the time it ends up in the net. It's difficult to find that. When you that's, get praised by Pep, that's a, at good, the age of 19. That's a good thing. You know? Yeah, that's really good. Sebastian Coates. I don't know how to pronounce the name. He scored two goals from headers, which is just brilliant. They four one victory over Besiktas, was it? Yeah. Yeah. So well done uh, to Sporting. Um, yeah. Mohamed Salah, obviously. He We've is got. just the inevitable, is what they're calling him. He is. He. It's inevitable. It. He is inevitable. He's hard in form. He's yeah. on. St- he's. There's, I haven't seen a defense so far like is able to stop this is man. Is there a record that he's approaching that you it's, want to talk it's about? It's what I want to talk about. I th- he, if I'm not mistaken, maybe it's some, saying something stupid, but I think he's scored in seven consecutive matches in the Premier League so far. Was it Premier League or was it... There's, I think there's one or two in there in Champions League. The, yeah, that, it's a nine consecutive across all competitions. Oh, okay. I think seven are in the Premier League. Okay, okay. It's six or seven. All right. I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. And he's on his way to breaking a record that Jamie Vardy did a few years ago when Leicester actually won the, the Premier, Premier League, League 11 consecutive goal uh, games where he, he, the, sh- the attacker is going to score a goal. What, so What do you think that means for for Liverpool? That means winning the league, obviously. If you have the best player 
in the world right now and the player that is scoring goal after goal after he goal. He is no doubt one of the best players Absolutely. to have ever graced the pitch in the Premier League. And if you don't see that, it's, just because... You're it, just biased. Listen, they're comparing him to Henri and they're like, oh, he can't even come close to Henri. Well, Henri's career is finished. So it's a very different... Like, Salah is still in his prime. He's got two or three years of goal scoring left at a high level. Yeah. Then we can draw the comparisons. Exactly. Right now, just sit down... Eat your popcorn and, and enjoy, enjoy what's happening. The masterpiece. Yeah. Antoine Griezmann. He he had one of hell of a start to the game, one hell of an end to his game yeah. last night. Um, two goals in the first half, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. and then a second half no, no, no. red there, card. Not just two goals in the first half. Four goals in like 33 minutes for yeah. both of the teams. Yeah. Incredible. One hell of a start to the game. We hope. To see the same thing today. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that much drama would be fantastic. Yeah. Um, and that then he got sent off. That was disgusting. What do you think it, about the red? Do you think it was a red? Oh, absolutely, it's a red card. Anybody no who says that it. isn't a red doesn't understand the concept of a red card. It was it was a disgusting... Uh, high foot. What? It was a high foot, first of all. And yeah. then it was also... It was unnecessary, first of all. He did not need to do that. That wasn't a challenge where they were in danger. They were attacking. Yeah, no, it wasn't a challenge. It was it's just an assault. Yeah. A physical like, assault on a man. Showing off his Taekwondo skills. <laughs> yeah, and look at him walking off. That's, that's where you get. And can we just talk about the managers, you know, shaking hands oh, like no, mature was, adults yeah, at the end that of wasn't, the That wasn't respectful. Apparently, he always does that. That's what I've read. Go to subscriber, Nadim Ajmal. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you. Um, yeah, apparently he always does that at the end of the match. He just runs off instead of shaking hands. Well, that's what he always does. Uh, apparently. Okay. That's well, what I'm getting I, from I did, some Atleti fans. I, did, I didn't know that. That was, in my opinion, that is disrespectful. If anybody in the chat watches Atletico Madrid, let us know. Yeah. I, I think he honestly does that every match. It must be a mind game, part of the managerial. Maybe he's just trying to rile everyone up, I guess. I don't know. Uh, it I doesn't. It didn't I look personally mature. find it disrespectful. Yeah, it didn't. It didn't look good, to be honest. Kind of like a sore loser kind of thing. Ooh. Was, was the second penalty a penalty? No, it wasn't. It just he scrubbed off his body. It was. It's, it's a contact sport. When you look at the first penalty that was given and then the second one, it's a huge difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I agree with you. I think the first penalty was clearly a penalty because he tripped over a player who was going to bring the ball down and create an attack. Yeah. Whereas in the second Smacked instance, <laughs> it was just, you know, him falling on his own. Yeah. So, um, he's just, he's just scrubbed off of him. It was, Jota could have fallen just as much as the him. other dude. If, so like, if there was actual pressure from Jota, it, Jota would be falling on his ass too. Jota fell yeah. after that guy fell and he stumbled on him. Yeah. yeah. Hi so, master. Hi Rita. Hello everyone. Um, champions league, Messi secures three points in Paris. Now, there's been ongoing comparisons between CR7 and always, Messi. Always, as always. It's nothing... But specifically in the Champions League. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Over the years, it's been that Ronaldo's competition is the Champions League and Messi doesn't score as much. Look, has the impact. We saw Messi obviously score... Obviously, he doesn't have the numbers, a, but... On a big stage against City. Yeah. Then we saw him secure the points against for PSG Leipzig. by scoring two goals. And, and then, giving away a penalty, by the way. He could have got his hat trick. But he gave Ronaldo it away to would Mbappe. Have taken, obviously. Ronaldo. Ronaldo, oh, Ronaldo, Ronaldo yeah, yeah. would have taken the penalty if he was well, in this position. Well, after that Bruno Fernandes disaster. He will be taking the penalties, uh, and I do not blame him. So, <laughs> right now, actually, it's the yeah. perfect... Let me set this up. Ronaldo scored a goal. Now we're expecting two goals from Ronaldo. Messi scored a goal. R Ronaldo has to match the two goals of Messi. Yeah. That's just how maths works. That's what works. we all want tonight. That's what we want. How many... Do you think CR7 is going to score tonight? I think he's the only Question player. Question of the day. Him and Rashford are the only players that can. Hey, maybe Greenwood. Those two players. The, it's in danger that attack. can score? Tonight, yeah. Well, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I stated the obvious, didn't I? Do you know, guys, I think it's the attackers that are going to score yeah. tonight. <laughs> no, but Rash, we, Rashford back is really good for them. It is. Do you think... Who do you think is going to get a goal from that attacking three? It's Ronaldo. It's a Champions League night. I think it's Ronaldo. It's the occasion. Yeah. Old Trafford. Yeah. All right, we've got it here first. Um, Ajax. Ajax completely destroyed. Can we just talk about Haller? <laughs> Do we just holler at Haller? 
He's oh, incredible. God. He scored six goals in three Champions that's, League that's matches. Amazing. What? Absolutely amazing. You've reinvigorated your career. You messed it all up at West Ham, and then you just decided to become amazing. And good on he, you. He's only the second player in the history of the Champions League where they've scored six goals in their first three I think matches. If you, if you scroll down. Oh, yeah. yeah, there we go. You see, I memorized it in and my And then the head. other guy is Holland. Yeah. Interestingly enough, the team that they him. destroyed 4 0. <laughs> I thought Dortmund would be a dark horse. They still are, obviously. They still are, but to lose 4-0... It was kind of, you know, embarrassing. No, it's a convincing victory. Yeah. It was in Amsterdam, though, so maybe we give them a bit of slack. I don't know. Maybe, maybe the, they were the Dutch at the fans cafes were, before. Maybe they were eating brownies. Anyway. <laughs> Vinicius. Um, two goals and Incredible an assist for this Vinicius. mental patient. Oh, my God. Whoever loves playing FIFA, watch out for him. He's pretty good in form. Um, six <laughs> shots, five duels won, four chances created, three ball recoveries. Just an incredible game all around. Um, all around the performance. He seems to be taking the rein and wanting to be the star. Do do we think there's a future landscape where it's Ansu Fati and then Vinicius like rivalry? Well, it sounds like M- Mbappe is going to be going to Madrid, and I do think he'll overshadow. Vinicius. I'll overshadow Vinicius. Or they could become like a, a good, trio or a, good a duo. Duo, yeah. Yeah. It could, yeah. Absolutely, Venom is Vinicius. As I want to see young players. I want to see young players <laughs> rise up and become, fill in the shoes that, you know, Ronaldo and uh, Messi yeah, no, left behind. And hopefully we will see that with Haaland and Pabe, Vinicius, Ansu Fati, Pedri. Yeah. And the last one. Inter finally breaks the sheriff. Sheriff's fairy tale. I guess there really is a new sheriff in town, but it's Inter. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's no, no, he's not the sheriff. It's the mafia boss. Oh yeah, it's the mafia boss. <laughs> <laughs> They moved on from they paid the, the ref old west. and they got the win. <laughs> they moved. They moved on from the wild west. <laughs> yeah. Um. Well, goals from Jeko, Vidal, and De Vrij. Yeah. Um. Convincing win. That's that's what we all expected. Three one. Let's be honest. Like, we didn't expect Sheriff to get another win. Come on. But you know what? They've done honorably well. No, they've done incredibly well and good for them. Hi, Samson. Well done, Sheriff. <laughs> next. <laughs> next <laughs> well, topic. No. Um. Three minutes to the game. Yeah. Um. All right. What are your guys' predictions, everybody? Yeah. Let us know. Send them in. We're interested. Why can't you guys show us the match? We can't show you the match, guys. Master, we've said this about thirty because times because it's illegal. It's illegal. Like it's, we, it's, we would get arrested. It's basically probably. us broadcasting a televised match where you're supposed to be paying for. Yeah. I'm not going to say it, but there are sh- sites out there where you can no, watch no, it if no, you No, 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 we don't support But I do that. not support that. I Absolutely. do not promote no, that. No, never. We no. would never use that. Um, <laughs> but anyway, yeah. The game hasn't started yet, Samson. Yeah. Um, but our prediction is 2-1 for Alexandra, 1-3 for me. There we go. Rita, she agrees with me. Agrees with you. 2-1. Look, you know, it's... Us girls sticking together because, you know, <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. Don't know. <laughs> if Judge Mickey's in there... Give us a prediction. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Abidemi. Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> yeah, I felt like it. Amali, 2-1. Okay. okay. For United, I assume. I think, you know, I think they're favorites for tonight. Also, the other matches that are going on. Mm-hmm. Chelsea is playing Mamo. Let's see if Lukaku can get a goal. Um, Benfica, Bayern. That's Zen- a big match. Zenit Juventus. And Lee. Lee Sevilla should be an interesting match. Young, and young boys. boys Villarreal. Interesting. Manchester United to win 3 1, said Samsung. Okay. For all of you out there that love to organize things and just absolutely have a thing for it, we're doing a tier list again. So <laughs> it's your lucky day. <laughs> and follow us on Instagram, as Stream Element said. Yes. Follow us on all social media because you don't want to miss a thing. Don't want to miss a thing. Thank you, Master. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'm really, getting, get, you're, you're really like, getting compliments oh about my this haircut. Dear Lord kind of regretting it because He's of turning red how many compliments Guys, i've been getting you can't do this to him <laughs> stop it insult him right now <laughs> insult me <laughs> all right guys so game is kicking off everybody is warming up they're lining up getting ready um mickey's agreeing with me are you She's kidding mixing me mixing it up a bit i like it it's because i shout i wait, did wait, a wait, shout wait. out for mickey no no she said 2-1 2-1 to atalanta oh yeah, okay. I see how it is. Betrayed your blood. Yeah. Um, Samsung wants Cristiano Ronaldo to score today. I think all United fans wants 
Ronaldo to score today, so fair enough. I mean, I think he has to at this point. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. My mother commented. <laughs> oh, your mom commented. Wait, where is she? <laughs> Hi, guys. Three, two for my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Subscribe to our channel. Said Stream Elements. Move on. <laughs> Buddy Goals says I came to say hello. Hi, Buddy Goal. I just called to say <laughs> I love you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so the game's kicking off. Um. Yeah. Let's hope that CR7 gets a goal. Let's hope that it's as interesting as the as the Atletico Madrid, oh, um, hopefully. Liverpool match because that was absolute mayhem. Crazy game. It was amazing to watch. There's a lot of pressure on the shoulders of Ole. Um, he's not a United Samson's fan. Samson's not a but he's United a, fan. He's a Chelsea fan. Samson, you're a Chelsea fan, right? Look, There's lot, no way you're not. A lot of people like Ronaldo. There's nothing wrong with it. Nothing it's wrong not with that. It's not a sin, you know. I like Ronaldo. I'm a Messi fan. Hello, Chima. Welcome. Hello, ladies and gents. <laughs> Guys, everybody get on Twitter and uh, share. Share the stream. Let's Tweet. get Let's get a nice little bustling family atmosphere. Exactly. You know, both literally his family and also <laughs> metaphorically. The more the merrier. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, okay, we're seeing the starting 11 on our screen. Um, yeah, Ole, huge pressure. And you're saying that it's the goal, it's the, the game where, where he can get we're sacked. We're witness him getting sacked. Absolutely. Has he been good enough from a tactical perspective? No. He is a Ch- Chelsea fan, called it. <laughs> <laughs> no. There is no tactics. There's nothing behind his mind or his thought process it's more like go out there yeah play football yeah, yeah, yeah. no like i don't i don't see there's a go out there play football i don't s- <laughs> it doesn't seem like there's a andreas kiriagu hello hello we I have a it, russian it, viewer i don't know how to pronounce your name my sister does but i don't know because i don't read cyrillic <laughs> please hello announce it for us mickey in the chat en- 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 <laughs> yeah um but yeah, yeah no i think this could be his last match he could sing his last song tonight no i've, I've been absolutely. singing songs all night <laughs> <laughs> so, um, no, I don't. I really don't think he'll be capable enough to keep this job for much longer. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't think he should be keeping this. There sh- he is, smiling. Is he's happy? Face off. He's like, let's just enjoy these moments while we did still you, can. Yeah, but did you see that smile that kind of just pain, faded away into a painful frown? Yeah, like we see it, man. We're looking forward to it as well, Fergal. Yeah, Fergal, I think is our Irish. And viewer. we have kick the kickoff. I murdered it. We've got <laughs> it. <laughs> I will be sending the code very soon. Yep. All right. The first part of the code. Come obviously. on, Ronaldo, score right now. Let's get. If we get an early goal, then that opens up the game, and lots of fun is to be had. Yeah. I'm sure the atmosphere in Old Trafford is absolutely just incredible right now. We got another prediction: two one from Manchester United. Uh, imagine being in that stadium. Yeah. Champions League night. We're going to have to hit up Old Trafford at some point. We're going to have to hit up all the Champions League stadiums at one point. Especially the ones in Manchester. Absolutely. Hint, hint. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> Chelsea will win the game, Simpson says. They should be winning that game. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. I thought they were talking about this game and I was <laughs> very confused. This is the wrong stream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, they've just stolen Thank the ball. Thank you for subscribing. Andreas Kiriagu. Atalanta has just stolen the ball. United had possession for the first 50 seconds. <laughs> um, they're playing it back. I like Atalanta's kit. I Atalanta's really kit? Is, um, I think it's Kappa. It's Kappa? Yeah, I think That's so. That's why it's good. That's <laughs> how so they're going to be shite Speaking really of good. K- Kappa kits, I've been trying so hard to find the Venezia kit. Yeah. So hard. Not it's there, constantly huh? sold out. It's a gorgeous kit. Like You're I gonna said, have to go on the black market. It's easier no, no, to no, find no, a no. kidney. No, no, no. I'm just going to ask our viewers. You know, I'm going to s- give them <laughs> my us. post office and <laughs> they're going to send it to me. <laughs> our Italian fans out there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Come on. Let's get some action. I don't want to see the hair. First one the minute and 40 seconds. We need a goal already. Yeah, man. What, <laughs> what is this? That's like how much percentage of the game? Too much. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Okay, um, so Rashford's playing on the left. Left, yeah. But obviously, that there's going to be some... Chima, you don't know our names? Oh, wow. I'm Alexandra. And I'm Spiros. Spiros. Kelvin, the bonus code will be coming out the first part very soon. Okay, Atalanta are... Wow, they didn't really... He didn't know our name, wow. (laughs) Do you think they look like an organized side so far in the first two minutes of the game? (laughs) What are your insights? 
Look, it, they should be coming out with. I, I was expecting more energy, to be honest with you. A this lot is just more like pressing, but it, it feels like, like it's the seventieth minute. Pressing. Yeah. In a zero-zero match, no. Ronaldo hat trick tonight. Fergo, what's your uh, prediction for the score today? We we have a hat trick. Oh my God, they're Here through. Go. They're through already. Rashford, what a miss! Horrible miss. Was it a miss? It came off the keeper, I think. No, no, he missed that. One hundred percent. Did he? There's, an, I really think he missed that. Or was he offside? Was though? he off anyway? Let's see. Took some time off to get his trim done, but not his shooting he skills. He was off. Yes, yeah. he was just off. off. Just off. There. Do you like his new haircut? It's horrible. Was that a miss? Cut yeah, it, it was a miss. Shave your head. Gotta do better than that, otherwise Ronaldo's gonna yeah, beat your neck. Yeah, he didn't touch it. Yeah. <laughs> Ronaldo would have scored that. Could be breathing on his neck. Maybe it was offside anyway. Why so you not score? Mean. Why you not score? Respect. <laughs> no, that's Jose. Christodoulos, <laughs> Christodoulou, <laughs> Emi Khali. We've got some people who know each other in the chat. <laughs> Where is Michali? Michali? Puse, Puse Thanasi. Isn't it Michali? Here we go again. We're loving it as well, yeah, Pascal. Yeah, Pascal, we've got some great energy. Atalanta's four. Muriel. Get shot box, off, man. Blocked off. Who is that? Juan Bisaka. The best right back in the Premier League. <laughs> I thought that was Bay. Holy shit. No, he's not been <laughs> yeah, on, on the pitch bench. in a long time. He's on the bench. <laughs> Atlanta keep it in, but it falls to United player and it's cleared out. And just for a throw in. They look a bit messy. They look like there's there's no development. I don't know why Pogba isn't starting to be honest with you. I really do not I think he's it. resting, I guess. Oh wow, what an incredible wow. incredible run. He went through two, three defenders and he got a corner? No, no. Oh, he didn't. Maguire managed to. Who's that was that? Zabagosta, oh, Zabagosta. The ex Chelsea player. Well done. Trying to cause some havoc in the he got, he Manchester just, United defense. He got through Maguire like it was nobody's business. Oh, wait, no. No, he covered it quite well. No, Maguire. But that's a corner. No, no, he didn't touch it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He got through two players and then Maguire. He ate some grass, down. though. Harry. <laughs> <laughs> this is the kind of commentary you sign up for. <laughs> <laughs> Atalanta has been pressing. They've been much more dangerous, it seems like. Well, so in the first, yeah, five minutes five or minutes. so. Um, you expect Manchester United to come out and bring fear into their right? opponents, obviously. Hi, Victor. Here we go again. V- Rashford okay. on the counter-attack Is here. he playing as a striker? It seems like it. I think Ronaldo's playing on the left. I don't... I don't to be honest... Interesting, because of the graph that we have to show people exactly. in, in a minute. It, it, Villarreal, young boys, 1-0 for oh, Villarreal. Wow. Incredible. Um, it seems like, yeah, the graph that we're talking about. Ronaldo loves to pop it up to focus on the on the left on the left side obviously <laughs> Michalis is the best man Michalis is the best man <laughs> all right Christodoulou. greetings back oh, to you oh it's his best man oh 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 oh, <laughs> oh sorry <laughs> are you getting ma- married Christodoulos or did he get married or did you get married Tommy yeah. Sin says he's watching Chelsea versus Mamo and he still wants to be part of all this you know what you're we, our favorite. We love you, Thomason. <laughs> um, here, here's the graph. Obviously. Here it is. So he's been focusing on the left, as you can see. That's the the heat map. Yeah. And it's been causing a problem because it gets congested on the left. Um, they Fergal says it's th- going to be three nil to, to Manchester United. Okay. The right. problem is that you've already got a player on the left, and then on top of that, Pogba tends to go to the left while he's playing forward. So then you just got too many players in, in and not enough in the middle. It looks like. Having Rashford back, it, it's going to have a, quite a, a dangerous, effect. yeah, dangerous striker for them that they can put up top and trust in scoring goals, which hopefully he will be scoring well, for them. Well, do you them. know what? Everybody... And Cristiano Ronaldo can focus on the left flank to get more of the ball that he wants. Everybody and their mother has been criticizing Cristiano Ronaldo and saying that maybe he hasn't had the impact that everyone thought he'd have um, and that maybe he wasn't actually good for the team because defensively they're actually suffering because of it. Um, because and he's not a workhorse. He doesn't do the work, the hard work. He's quite... A ball hog, I'm, I'm going to say. He loves... A hogger, yeah. Yeah, he loves having the ball in his feet. Mm-hmm. He doesn't want... He wants all the shine on him. And maybe that's why it didn't work for that for him at Juventus. Because that's not kind of the mentality. But yeah. in Madrid, it's all about all lights are on the best player in the world. Yeah, that's of course. It was like a the Ronaldo show. You yeah. know what I mean? That's what he's grown up, as, uh, grown up with. And then Juventus as well... First time he was at United, he was the wonder kid. And now it's just, that's his way of living, you know? Yeah. Um, habits are hard to break. But it seems like that's what they're trying to do. He is playing in the middle, I guess, interchangeably with Rashford. Yeah, maybe they're going to be switching it up. Yeah. 
One nil for Chelsea. Wow. Thomas. Wow. Thomas, tell us who scored. Ch- well, Chelsea just scored, Pascal. You just commented on the right time. <laughs> All right, they're playing over one Bisaka is running forward. Let's see if anything comes it's from It's Christensen that has scored, by the way. Thiago Silva wow. assists, so the two centre backs have been involved in this <laughs> <What>? game. <laughs> <laughs> Not much happening from Manchester United's give, side. Give it time, give it time. Now. It's just, this is, in my opinion, is a very important game mm-hmm. for United and Ole. Mm-hmm. Because if you get another loss here, things start to get rough in the locker room. Mm-hmm. Hi, Ibrahim. Ole is going to be, you know, here we go. <laughs> no. Try to go with something crazy just here. I'm no. sure Ronaldo is not happy with what Rashford just did. He didn't even Thank hit it. Thank you, right? Andreas Kiriagu. Um, it's just he, Ole's on the hot seat now, and you want to see the team coming out with a game plan where it's press, 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 score, 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 yeah, play absolutely. beautiful football. It's game time. It's, you know, but we're not seeing that so far. There's Michali. Hello. <laughs> it's his Kumbara. It's my Kumbara. Okay. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> it's a reunion here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe to the channel, everybody. So, Atalanta seems to be, I think it's equal possession. They so don't far. seem afraid. No, they don't seem afraid. And I yeah. think. Kudos to them. I think that's a bit of a problem if you're Manchester United, United yeah. and people don't seem afraid of you. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's worrying, you know. They used to really um, bring fear into their opponents, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Ooh. it's not happening anymore. Okay, beautiful play up top, falls to Ronaldo. Bruno takes a shot from Jesus. like twenty five yards. This unnecessarily. is the thing about Bruno. I'm I have a problem. We've with We've got him. so many Chelsea fans. I, I love it, guys. I have a problem with Bruno because he has he takes these shots from outside the box that have absolutely no potential of going in. Yeah. That are like 0.2 in XG, if you guys know what that is. Um, and it's just, there's no point, and it ruins the play. You gave him a lot there for 0.2. That was not a zero. That's Hello, what he Shadow. Averages. Really? That's what he averages. Wow. Hi, Shadow. Shadow Max. It's a dramatic name, you know? Where are you from, Shadow? Are you from this world? <laughs> or are you from another universe? Have you, have you joined us from another dimension? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Atalanta are forward, go. and he slips. Slipped on his ass. Slippery. He did a John Terry. Oh, we've got another mother in the chat. Wow. Hi, Ma. <laughs> <laughs> it's, is it Mother's Day? <laughs> <laughs> Did we forget? <laughs> oh, wait. We're not live. This is a pre-recorded video. We didn't forget. <laughs> Atalanta are Shadow forward. Shadow Max is from Nigeria. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, yeah. No, this game looks like it's back to back and forth. Yeah. Atalanta are pushing. They're, they want it. They want like, it. They're hungry for it. Oh, Ronaldo's running. Down the left he flank. Does <laughs> and he's he does that. He does that. Demiral's like, get up. Yep. yep. Demiral's yep. acting like he's the best defender in the world. After that, oh, goal. these are ex teammates, by the way. Ronaldo and Demiral. Mm. Demiral used to play for Juve. Oh. But if the shots by Bruno do go in, he's, he's the a hero. hero. That is very true. That's what he's going for. Okay. Yeah. Well, he ain't no hero the past few games, that's for sure. <laughs> Samson is. <laughs> Samson's also from Nigeria. Stranger says, hello, Athena. We see all the family live comments. Yeah. <laughs> We're getting everyone in here. <laughs> we need Mr. Steve now. Where is Mr. Steve? We need the boss man. I'll send the first code out right now, Rita. Yep. So Bruno Fernandez is taking a corner. It's in and it falls to no one. But then it goes to Bruno again. Crosses it in, falls to no one. Astutely defended. Just knocks off an Atalanta player. Now they're on the counter attack. No options going forward, and they've lost possession. It's a little bit sloppy football. Like, I'm not saying incredible football. No, but There's nothing organized. Yeah, but I think something's going to come of it. Oh, wow. Great ball forward, but it's blocked by Demiral, who seems to be having a good game. He seems to be much more confident than what we saw in the European Cup, mm-hmm. uh, European, uh, Cup with Turkey. Yeah. That was craziness. Well, I can't wait to stream the World Cup. That'd be or fun. to go to a World Cup Wait, match, what? perhaps? Maybe I bought tickets. No chance, because they're like <laughs> 7,000 pounds or something. I just sold one of my kidneys. <laughs> I don't need both. Um, Isaiah says, in Nigeria, we love sports but lack sport infrastructures. That's interesting, because a lot of good players have come out of Nigeria. Oh, yeah. Some of the best in the world and I think, in history. I think Miguel is from Nigeria. Really? John Obi Mikel. That's mm-hmm. why we have a lot of Chelsea fans from Nigeria, Oh, I think. 
if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah. Please let me know and if I'm know, right. Yeah. Hi, Juliet. <laughs> Who? There's a certain bigger Nigerian player. Am I forgetting someone? I'm forgetting someone. Do you know what? I'm going to Google it. I'm going to Google biggest Nigerian players. You're welcome, Samson. JJ Okocha. Oh, wow. Just, you wasn't know. He, wasn't he like the president of... No, that's um, that's Weya. Oh, okay. He became the president of Liberia. Okay, all right. Um, Kanu as well. Um, Olise. I'm right about Miguel. Yeah. Juliet is saying specifically hi to you, Alex. No. Oh, hi, Juliet. <laughs> Who's this guy? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, some great players have come out of Nigeria. I'm sure there's so much talent. Um, and it would be great if every country had better infrastructure for football. Yeah. And we just have so much good football. Everybody, now that you got the first code, tell everyone in the football app. First code, come. Get involved. Get involved. Yeah, I need you guys to promote this on your social media yeah, platforms everywhere. I want to see the Panda podcast booming everywhere. Uwanku Kanu. Yeah. I don't know. I, this is an interesting match so far. It just seems like Atalanta seems more confident on, on the pitch while they are in Manchester playing. Okay, yeah. But we'll see what happens. The obviously. thing is, Old Trafford is not a scary place to play anymore. And that's the problem. It, it's, it's not intimidating. It's the same problem that um, uh, L- Liverpool used to have. Mm-hmm. Anfield didn't bring enough fear to... Um, didn't inspire fear into the hearts of yeah. the men. Yeah. It was quite a problem until Klopp came, obviously. Mm-hmm. Uh, our Instagram link, if you look right below me, right here. Look, there it is, right there. It popped up right on my shoulder. Constantly it keeps popping up. These are all our link, uh, all our social media ads. Mm-hmm. We'll see what happens in this game. Uh, it's I'm, looking a bit chaotic I, I, right now. Just yeah, bouncing I, I around. honestly think that um, Fred, uh, United will not <gasps> do well. Atlanta are through. They've broken through. Um, took a little bit of time with that. They're on the right flank. Cross it in. Ooh. Is that a deflection? No. No, but it's Pasalic. Pasalic. One nil for Atalanta. He slid his way into that and goal. I don't care about the goal. I don't want to rewatch the goal. I want to see Ole's face. Oh my God, the Italian fans are going wild. Do you know what, guys? He's gone. He's a goner. Absolutely. I Ole is a goner. Well, it's, it's all about them coming back from this. And you know what? If Ole comes back from this and gets a, an you know, like a assured victory, then you know, one, three. then fair enough. Yeah. You're not that bad. But it, they don't seem like they're be they're able to dominate. That's not offside. Oh, is it, oh no it's no, not. No, no. Um they it, they haven't been dominating the not game. A bad it seems like Hey st- we've got Mr. Steven as well. <laughs> we've got Bosman. Hi Steve. Who is uh who was covering him there? McTominay. McTominay, but you're expecting your centre backs to be there, right? Yeah, I mean um, I saw Lindelof Maguire's just standing there. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what's going McGuire on. Maguire should have been covering that, and then McTominay tried to. And Ronaldo was mad. Ronaldo is mad. One nil for Atalanta, Samson. Samson, oh, I really Ole's. don't know what's happening. You can see the pain in his eyes. He hasn't been sleeping. Red eyes as well. He's Bruno, kind of a scary looking guy. R- Ronaldo's telling him, "Why aren't you there covering?" Boss, Bruno? Man, boss man's having a beer. Oh, well that's great. <laughs> I love a beer right now. They're doing a VAR. Hello, goal Michael. Check. They're checking if it's offside. Oh, it's. He's back. <laughs> the legend is back. Did he just fix his little... You know, it's a. I think it's a goal. Yeah, it's a goal. Yeah. All right. Confirmed. United are 1-0 down at Old Trafford. Oh my God, this is really scary. This guy's big. Michael, thank you for keeping us company, man. <laughs> um, young boys... Oh, you want to link to our personal account? Oh. Well, that is our personal account. I think he... Sh- he oh, our, our Instagrams. Yeah. Well, um, <laughs> they're, they're personal. <laughs> they're, they're personal for a reason. Man United is not the big team that used to be and enjoyed watching. Yeah. It, especially with Ole at the wheel. It's no more Ole at the wheel. It's more like get Ole off the wheel. Look, it's that thing that we spoke about. Good evening, Femi. Hi, Femi. The thing is, we said that, okay, maybe he's a good player. You know, Steve in uh, the building. Sorry. <laughs> maybe he's a good manager for certain aspects. I think... The whole rebuild, with the br- chaotic. Yeah, exactly. He came in the right time and he helped them, you know, rebuild and, yes. yeah, as you said, and bring them to a certain point. He can't bring them to the next. No, there's a time when a manager has done the best he can do and that's now. He has to go. Yeah. Before it gets messy. 
Like it's going to get bad. No, if you hold on to him a bit longer, it's going to be a huge problem. Yeah, and that'll just ruin it's his reputation at the club. Yeah. You don't want to you don't want a Frank Lampard, you know. Well, it didn't ruin the reputation. It, yeah, but it it really just scarred it in it's a bad just, way. It's just sad that he had to go. Obviously, and they won the Champions League after he went. Yeah. It obviously shows that he's not able to manage a team especially mm-hmm. at that level, at least now. Yeah. What a shame. Well, seems like Atalanta is dominating the ball. We don't see no, like, Man United going forward. United went 1-0 Again, down. Horrible decision, in my opinion, having Fred and McTominay in midfield. Horrible decision. It hasn't you need worked. Pogba in this midfield. If it hasn't worked, then change it. And you know what? Donny van de Beek has just been warming the bench. Warming keeping the it bench. Absolutely it's, it's an absolute joke. Yeah. And, and you've got Jesse Lingard on the bench as well. Let's not forget that as well. Jesse he Lingard, can play a in man midfield. who can absolutely change. He's a spark. Yeah, he can change the whole you know, trajectory of the game yeah. in terms of attacking play. So, yeah. <laughs> Humiliation, Humiliation is the word now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, jeez. It's, it's, it's a shame what's happening. Because in my opinion, if I was the board, I would have sacked him. Yeah, I, I think One, so. Once I get Ronaldo, I'm like, you're out. I need, I need another coach. You're not. We, we don't want you here when Ronaldo is here. Let's not waste what we have. Honestly, it's what I said. Just let Ronaldo be the coach. <laughs> Player coach. Player coach. First <laughs> of its kind. Of course it would be Ronaldo. For all the Cypri fans out there. Chelsea 2-0, by the way, and Villarreal 2-0. Wow. Um, for all the Cypri fans out there that know Jason Dimitriou. I don't know if Michali, Haralambos, or any of the other guys in here know Jason Dimitriou. He has become a... Player slash coach in one of the lower leagues in England. Who's that? He's a S- English Cypriot that oh. used to play in Cyprus. He played for Ajax, I think, and Anorthos. Okay. Jorginho scored a penalty for Chelsea. And for Villarreal, we've got one goal from Jeremy Pino and Gerard Moreno. Okay. I think Pino is like is the kid we were watching for the Nations League. Is he? Is that him? Yeah, it was a striker. Yeah, the, yeah. the kid we were watching. The youngster. Yeah, for Spain, yeah. He's scoring... The big stage now. <laughs> <laughs> Samson is asking for a sack. Samson, Why? you're a Chelsea, you're a Chelsea fan. fan. You should be like blessed. Be the Manchester it. United Ronaldo board forward that they're keeping this on the man. right flank. Let's see what he does with it. Crosses Keeps it in. Oh, that's a beautiful Bruno. cross. Somebody should have done something with that. Fred, <gasps> Fred nice save. Do you know what? Well done, Fred. Good save. Vamos a Nortes y vamos a Augusta. Yes. <laughs> We've got an Nortes y fan in here. No comment. No comment. <laughs> Ronaldo's done a good job there. He's gotten a contribution, and Fernand- Fernandez wasn't tall enough to get to that. Yeah. But then Fred kind of just Ronaldo crossed it like shot. thinking that he was gonna be able to run there and get the header as well. <laughs> Player coach. Yes, he did play for the national team, Michael. Cristodulo, what do you think the pr- uh, the game for Anorthosi is? Since we're talking about European oh football, it's, it's European just, football. No, Anorthosi is right playing, now. and Amonia Absolutely is playing right in now. the Euro- UEFA European Conference League. Yeah, what, what do you think the score is gonna be? What a league. They're representing Cyprus in Europe. Oh. Here we go. Oh, you oh. couldn't get to that. Nope. Too slow, Greenwood. Bad pass from Shaw, to be fair. It's not taking Shaw's it. just getting bigger and bigger. Yeah. I think he's going to go into heavyweight <laughs> fighting after this. If it all... Yeah, he could start fighting against Tyson he's Fury. He's got a backup, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Atalanta absolutely dominating and showing... Who the actual boss is in Manchester? Who so would far. have thunk it? Twenty minutes into the game, Atalanta one 0 up. I thought that at Old Trafford. <laughs> I'd, yeah, I mean, fair I enough. Did, I didn't doubt it for a second. Well to be done. Honest. Well done. Good on you. <laughs> Good on you. <ya. laughs> you and Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> Not me though. <laughs> uh, well, we'll see. They can turn it around. They no, can they absolutely, absolutely turn can. It around. I mean, uh, they have to get their hearts on the pitch. I think that's the problem right now. I don't see no heart. No passion. Yeah. So yeah, um, we've got a lot planned, like we said. At halftime, we're going to do a little bit of a tier list, which we love on this channel. Man United needs a new coach if they m- want to remain a relevant rival. For my almighty, almighty Chelsea. Almighty Chelsea. <laughs> All right, keep the ego down, as it now. I mean, Chelsea is much better than United, um, no doubt. Christodoulos is saying, tomorrow, Anothosi will win 2-1 against Fiora Tallinn. Oh, he Flora traveled. Tallinn. He traveled to Belgium. Wow. Nice. When they played against um, Ghent, I think is Ghent, how it's yeah, pronounced. Yeah. I don't know, Belgium stuff. Um, <laughs> Belgium stuff. Tallinn, you'd have to travel to Albania to watch that match. Yeah. Or are they playing at home? They're playing at home. They're playing in Larnaga. Okay. Yeah. 2-1 for Anorthosi, huh? 
I think that's very reasonable. I could go into depth about this conversation with but we're not going to hacking. because that's not relevant <laughs> to what we're watching right now. In case you haven't noticed, he's an unorthodox fan. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> he wears his heart on his sleeve. I ain't afraid to show it. <laughs> <laughs> if you could be the manager of any team in the world right now, right now, which team would you manage? Other than Liverpool, because you're biased. Newcastle. Yeah, no, yeah, that with everything going on right now and basically living in Newcastle anyway, how exciting! Wouldn't have to move, you know. Yeah, how exciting! <laughs> that's 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 coming into account to my decision. Yeah, just convenience. <laughs> so if you um, lived in Blackburn or something. Yeah, it's Blackburn Rovers, and we're bringing them to the top. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. Um, who is going to go into the Newcastle top? We're going to talk about that later. So stick around for that. <laughs> I don't know if this is Flora. Oh, it's a Rassi B. Rassi oh, B. yeah. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, logically. Um, you can't compare Chelsea to Manchester United team now. Chelsea no, they don't seem confident with the ball. They don't seem dangerous enough with the ball. I don't seem passionate. Come on. There's an occasion for everyone. You know what I mean? Like, this is the occasion for United. This is the occasion for Ole. This is the last chance saloon. You know, actually, interestingly, yeah. when you're in the desert in Arizona... <laughs> or you know in um, Nevada which is the state with Las Vegas in it as you're driving out of the of the state yeah they've got last chance saloon which is like the last chance for you to gamble before you leave because people are crazy about gambling you know what you sold me there if it's my last chance I have to okay, go I'm not talking about you no, Ollie's no, in I'm there <laughs> <laughs> Ollie's on the slot machine he's doing the you know the thing that spins yeah yeah he's he's going at it real hard he's doing everything hoping he for can. a jackpot yeah Jackpot? Blackjack. Oh, yeah. Blackjack. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. United have had five shots, but one on target. Atalanta, two. One on target. They've been more clinical. It's just been a lack of a lot of things for United. There's a lack of creativity, absolutely. And I don't... And Bruno do you know what? has been... After he missed that penalty, he's just been going down and down. I think it got to him. Also, yeah. the, pr- the pressure of Ronaldo must be getting to people. And they speak the same language, so God knows what he tells them. He's just like whispering in Portuguese. He's like, you, you suck. Get out. This is my team. And he hears it in his nightmares. You're never taking a penalty again. <laughs> <laughs> For as long as you live. But yeah, um, I don't know. Um, Ole is the name. The, na- <laughs> the name of the game. All is the name. <laughs> I just keep thinking about him, you know? Like, I'm, I hope he's okay. Can you I imagine saw, the I amount saw, of pressure that he's feeling right now? It's very difficult. We saw Steve Bruce come out today, actually. He's been sacked, by yeah, the way. Yeah, he's been sacked. In case you guys didn't know. Um, we saw Steve Bruce Newcastle come out. Manager. And he was absolutely devastated because he said he doesn't think he's going to manage again because of all the negative feedback he's been getting when he was at the helm for Newcastle. Everyone... There's some bad stuff in in his post, obviously. To be honest, I don't think that he deserved the disrespect that he got towards the end of his career. He was absolutely in a shit position with a shit... A bad team. Shit owner, obviously. Yeah, and a a, a dispassionate, which is not a word, I don't think, owner. Um, Someone who lacked the vigor that you need. Yeah. Um, And... No, dispassionate is a word. I don't know, whatever. Anyway. Um, (laughs) Yeah, anyway. hi, Hi, Chumako. Best joke ever if the match ends 1-0-1. One, one. I don't think it will. It could. It could absolutely. No. Oh, we hope not. We, we, we are, need action, man. Yeah. We've been unlucky with our games. We need more action. But Give any- us action. Yeah, anyway. Um, guys, do you think... <laughs> I mean, really, like... Wh- it's become the new arsenal. Like, I'm sorry to say it. I'm the first person to say it. No. It's the new Arsenal. They're the bad. N- They've got creative players like Lingard and Sancho on the bench. Yeah. And I just don't see... Whatever. I, I just don't... I'm not happy with it. I don't think United fans are happy with it. They no. started the they started the season really hopeful. The Ronaldo homecoming was... Everyone was hype. But you know what? Steve Bruce is a mediocre manager, but he does not deserve this much hatred. No. I agree. Yeah. He doesn't. I'd like to say, everybody, we've had um, some technical issues and we cannot actually watch the game right now. But we just got informed that Manchester United is two down.
to Atalanta. And it's Demiral that scored the goal. Oh, wow. Yeah. Must have been a header. You guys, we're, we're down right now. Um, yeah. So just show us. Show us some. We're going to try and get it back as soon as possible. Tell obviously. us if we got a header or whatnot. Whatever happened. <laughs> Must have been a header if it was Demi Roll. Guys, do you yeah, think it's gonna be a whitewashing at what Old Trafford? Like honestly, what is going on? They're getting blown out at their own stadium. Yeah. Alright, um let's talk a little bit about Newcastle since we were on that. On it's that train. such an interesting thing to watch unfold in front of us after we've seen what happened with we've got Manchester another article C- for that. Manchester City, obviously. Yeah, we do have another article for that. <laughs> Mickey's, Mickey's saying, my prediction was 2-1 Atlanta. Could it be? <laughs> I like the <laughs> ellipses. She's giving some, you know... Header from a corner, Michael says, as okay. predicted. Demiral is having the game of his life. Well done. Um, yeah, you want to pop it up? Should we pop this one up first? Yeah. All right, here we go. So for all our Chelsea fans out there, Chelsea's up two goals and eight. Yeah, um, do you guys think that you want to keep Werner? Genuine, I would keep him. Genuine question: Do you want to keep Werner? We are in goals now, still counting. <laughs> <laughs> um, would you? Me personally, if I'm a Chelsea fan, I want to keep Timo Werner. He's been absolutely amazing so far when he has been playing for Chelsea this season. He's been looking more dangerous than Lukaku. He's been creating chances, and even last season he. He was one of their best players, mm-hmm. creating chances with assist angles. Samson's saying, keep him. Maguire's trying to stop the header with his hands. Money well spent. Jeez. <laughs> Guys, where is Neo when you need him? Saying that he was uh, one of the best uh, center backs. In the yeah, better wh- than Van Dyke. Where is Neo? Um, Thomasin says, Werner is untouchable. He should be untouchable. Especially be. with the money you spent and the age he's at. There's the sc- the r- the sky's the limit for his potential. He's a good player. We've yeah. seen it. He got more assists and more goals than Havertz, and Havertz is the golden boy, and they're both attacking players. There was too much pressure on him last season. Everybody said it. It was common knowledge. Now the pressure's off, and he's looking like he's going to be really good for them. Yeah. So hold on to him if I'm if I'm Chelsea. Don't let him go to Newcastle. <laughs> two because nil. Newcastle... Yeah, 2-0. No. Who knows what's going to happen over there. Ch- Chima says Man United is a goner. Do you know what? Me- Mary Demiral scores his first Champions League goal. And it's at Old Trafford with Manchester United. I think he's on loan. La- Atalanta signed Turkish centre-back on loan with buy option. 30 million total. With I think a, you're going to want to keep him. With a potential fee. Yeah. And they're replacing Romero. Yeah. Well, that was a very good <laughs> replacement. Chilwell is chilling with us. What, is, right. what does that mean? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did he score another screamer? Um, let's go. Anyway. To, let's go to the next article, which is very interesting, and we found very interesting. Yeah, we've got. Let's go to the top. Next, Newcastle United manager, Paulo, Paulo Fonseca is emerging. Fonseca. Fonseca, I'm sorry, is emerging as the favorite so, so far. So he was a Roma manager, and he was a favorite to take over which job? He was favored to take over the Tottenham Hotspur job. The Spurs until job. He was one of the many candidates, mm, but it fell through, and um, Nuno took the job instead. There's a lot of potential, and it's kind of a mystery factor. It's it's quite it's kind of like a young manager who forty eight years old. Yeah, who looks to want to prove himself and bring something new. He's gonna bring something new, obviously, to football. Yeah, and I'm sure it's something different to Roma, obviously, with the money. Whoever comes here, it's gonna be different to any team they've managed in their life mm-hmm. because of the money they will have available to them. Yep. So. Chima also wants so to keep Werner. Everybody wants to keep Werner. <laughs> no, nobody wants to get rid of him. Um, yeah, so that's an interesting one. Do you think he's fit? The the I mean, it's I'm, the number I'm one. I'm going to be honest with you. In my opinion, you go for Conte. All right, well, let's go down. Yeah. Um, we've got... Lucien Favre. Some may know him when he managed Dortmund, which wasn't a very good Before spell for Before that, him. he had a good spell at Munchen Gladbach. Munchen Gladbach and Lyon and uh, Nice. Nice. Yeah. Um, he was good for bringing in youthful players, which yeah. Newcastle, looking forward, are going to want to do. I don't know if it's right for right now. And his transfer acumen, so he did do scouting well and yes. bringing in players. It's just which is useful. He wasn't getting the results, and Newcastle look, need results right now. That's the problem. Yeah, that's, so that's exactly. That's why he's not fit, in my opinion. We need to remember that this is a team that will most likely spend 190 to 200 million in this January transfer window. Yeah, absolutely. But they need those transfers to be the right ones and to work immediately to keep them up. Mm-hmm. 
It's not that the team hasn't been playing well. They played pretty well against Tottenham and they did cause problems. And maybe They've with got some potential for sure. Exactly. And someone else at the helm with Callum Wilson back as well. Maybe they don't need as much as men's investment as we've made it seem. Moving on. We'll see. Eddie hey, Howe. I don't think he's fit for it. He's an English manager. He he did some pretty good stuff. Whoever he's knows got him, a limited scope in my opinion. Whoever knows him. At Bournemouth. At Bournemouth, obviously. Um... Look, I do think it's a good option. It's a young manager who what, has you, has the experience to keep teams up. Do you know what's a little bit relevant? Um, we've got Chuck Samobi saying Ole must go. And if Ole goes, some of these managers could be contenders. Oh, absolutely. Definitely but, not Eddie Howe. But we heard Zidane and if Ronaldo's asking for Zidane. Again, wrong decision in my opinion. Again, He's, wrong manager. He thinks that Zidane is overrated. I'm, I'm going to say that from now. I think he's overrated. He... He was an amazing player. I'm not going to take anything it's away from him. It's a Panda podcast exclusive. <laughs> amazing player. Amazing football player. He managed one of the best Madrid teams that have ever been built. Mm-hmm. He came and took over after Ancelotti, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Or yeah. Rafa Benitez. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Um, and it was an incredible team with Ronaldo, Benzema, Beo, Modric, Cruz, Casemiro, Varane, Ramos, Anyway, Carvajal. the point is that it was like, a really good team. For God's sake. And he's saying that he's not a good manager because no. he had a really good team. Pep Guardiola has always had good teams. And the prem, yeah, but the prem is a different thing, a different beast. And it's not that he played like the amazing football. He did. No, I whoever agree, managed I agree. that Real Madrid team, amazing. whoever managed that Real Madrid team, didn't have to do much. Okay, we'll see if he takes over in your, um, um If he takes United, over at United and he does something, we shall see. It's a different thing, and I'll change my opinion. But in my opinion, if he if does Ronaldo go, wants him, Ronaldo's an experienced player. I mean, obviously he wants a manager. But it's also a, it's a manager which he seems to be felt comfortable with, and he, it's the lowest risk for Ronaldo. True. Obviously, who's gonna listen you, to him? Your mother's saying three one for Ronaldo. <laughs> okay, <laughs> <laughs> a little late, but, <laughs> but thank you, <laughs> Frank Lampard. Um, it could work, it could not work. It's just a tough one. It could work, could not work. And the thing is, we do have some evidence from him at Chelsea with a lot of money backing that he couldn't, wasn't able to yeah, manage. Yeah, he wasn't. He did really well at Derby, obviously. Almost brought them up. Yeah. He The first season the at Chelsea... which Rooney's struggling with right now. Yeah. Um, the first season at Chelsea, he did do well. He mm-hmm. he brought in the youngsters like Mason Mount as well. Yeah. Like, it was working and uh, uh, Hudson Adoy as well yeah. was working. Um, oh, and Tammy, Tammy as well. Yeah, these, these are players that came up. Um, Youngsters are his specialty, but that was yeah. Chelsea. That was his home. That was his home, obviously. I think it's very but different. But he's, he's that figure, that huge figure in the Premier League, which brings a lot of confidence into players. For me, I don't think it's a right fit particularly, but I could but see it I more than the other I could see it working guys. more than how... Favre. Favre, maybe. We don't know enough about this guy. Or this guy. I'd, Fonseca. Look, these these are two promising candidates that are showing a lot of promise, obviously. But do we they want have, promise or do we want someone Do we want who someone that has the experience the already in the Premier because, League as well? Because here's a grievance that I had with City. They brought in Pellegrini and he just fluffed around for a little. Like it was just like they didn't win the silverware that they should have been winning. They wasted a few years with him. They yeah. wasted like lots they, of years. Mancini did what he did. You needed you needed Pep from them to be honest, but he wasn't available obviously. But what were City? Eighth before the takeover? I think they were eighth. Something like that. They were just like a mid to, you know, higher mid label team. Um, Steven Gerrard. I think this absolutely could work. But he wants it as a stepping stone to to Liverpool. And I do think that's what it, I think that's what it is. No, I I think that if he goes to Newcastle. I don't think he's looking for any other job other than Liverpool. if he comes into Newcastle, he's going to get sucked in. They're going to be winning Premier League. Champions League if he's a good enough coach in the next 10, 15 years. Like, in the next six years, I could see them winning the Premier League. Absolutely. Uh, and if voice not, crack. If not, <laughs> semi-final of the Champions League. Yeah. Do you know what? It could be way sooner than that. It's just, it's kind of unprecedented. Yeah. So we don't know. Um, just a quick update. It's still 2-0 for Atalanta, by the way. Yeah. The, not much chances. Seven. Seven chances for United, only two on the target. Four for Atalanta, two on the target, two goals, obviously. Yeah. Um, yeah, Stevie G. I don't he, know. He's he's a good fit. I don't. He. he I think he, he is a good he fit. He coached in the Scottish league. It's worked really well. He brought. We've talked about this already. He brought Rangers back to the top, in Scotland, um, and it. 
And it could work. It could absolutely work. He does have the experience of the Premier League. He's a very good leader. Again, a figure like Lampard. Yeah, absolutely. And then we've got the two wild cards. We've got Antonio Conte and Roberto wild Martinez. Wild cards. Yeah. He doesn't like uh, Martinez. I don't like Martinez, no. Um, Thank you for subscribing, Alexis. Thank you, Na- Naezo and Graphite. And Jericho. And wow, Jericho. Wait, what's Thank going you. on? We got three subscribers. <laughs> Everybody get involved. If you're not subscribed, then subscribe. Victor's saying Atalanta is a better club than Manchester United. Well, they're looking like it, Victor. I absolutely agree. And Alexander is not wrong with what she was saying. Subscribe if you are not subscribed. Hit, hit the, the bell button. Exactly, if so you, you don't miss any button, of our videos. You're going to see when we're, when we're premiering. You're going to see when we're about to live stream. Exactly. And why miss it? Why would you want to miss this? <laughs> I'm having a blast. Antonio Conte. Oh, Fergal. Yeah, Fergal, Fergal just switch it. We're just going to say you said for hey, Atalanta. Hey, we got you, Fergal. Atalanta. We're just, for it was Atalanta, you said. <laughs> That's Anto- what I remember. Antonio Conte. I'll delete your message from before. Conte. <laughs> I um, think he's a perfect he's fit. He's perfect, perfect, he's perfect. He's going to bring a culture he immediately. He couldn't go to Spurs because he wanted big money. Well, hello, he does big well, money. He, do, he does well with big money. Like, he's shown that to us. Absolutely. I think he's a great coach, very passionate, and I'd love to see him in the Premier League. I would love to see him again. He's going to bring a lot of passion, a lot of enthusiasm into that. <laughs> Fergal's loving it. Um, a lot of enthusiasm into that Newcastle team. And yeah. that's what they need. And it's also going to inspire those players to want to play even Maybe better. Maybe some Italiano. Maybe some Italiano. Maybe some. <laughs> I need some Italian tonight to eat. <laughs> Just, oh my God. <laughs> and the other wild card is Roberto Martinez. I don't think. Why don't you like him? Stay away from this guy. Why don't you like him? He didn't do that well with Everton. I don't, what? What did he do? Wait, let me read it. He led the Toffees to a club record 72 Premier League points and a fifth place finish. Okay. So, And then he finished. Could 11th. only manage consecutive 11 places. In the <laughs> he plays... Possession football, as I said, and horrendous defending. So maybe the style of play, which is already Newcastle, um, horrendous defending, doesn't fit, in my opinion. He didn't really didn't really work for him so far in Belgium, in my opinion. I think so he's a failure for the for Belgium us, the national team. For us, we're saying Conte. We're that's, saying that's Conte as the favorite. And there's a reason. I put we're in Newcastle. We want to see Conte. Yeah, we'll, we'll go to the airport and watch him <laughs> walk in. Maybe... Maybe I go with how to just keep him up, help them, maybe bring some. How could be for this season? Absolutely. Yeah. But not for the long term. Absolutely not for the long term. Atalanta is playing modern offensive football, and I really love the coach, the way he's pressing uh, opponents, and w- the way they've been dominating in European football as well the past few seasons and in Italy. Bayern Munich 1 0, by the way, guys. Where is Atalanta on the um, Serie A table? I think they're first. They They're were first. first last time I checked. Or Let they were check. top three last time I checked. Let's check. I want to watch more of this area. I don't have enough time. but Too I would, many games. I would like to see Eric Ten Hag from Ajax. Atalanta is sixth league. at the moment. And they are three points behind the third. Oh, I must, I think they were third. And then they dropped They points. must have upped their form in the last Roma's five games. Roma's doing good with Jose. They're in fourth Score place. Score correction, no, no for Bayern against Benfica. Um, look at what Michael said. Would like to see Eric Ten Hag from Ajax a different league. He thinks he's a great coach. He is a great coach, and he has been proving he has proven himself with Ajax so far. He's he has a lot of experience with the youngsters. I feel like he has that connection with Ajax as well, which would be beneficial for many teams. Mm-hmm. So whoever signs him, that's a team that will be signing a coach that will be attracting youngsters from Ajax and that's what every team wants obviously so he is a good coach and maybe I don't know if he's a good fit for Newcastle but for a big team absolutely he should be given the opportunity and he did reject did he not reject Michael if I'm not mistaken uh, he rejected the Tottenham opportunity this summer and I don't blame him for rejecting that obviously I don't think it was the best option for him so then Hag could we could well, the be thing is, I don't know if we're gonna be we could be seeing him in the Premier League. Last I'm not time sure. we saw a big manage, Dutch manager come out of was the, it Koeman uh, or was it someone else? I, well, the last m- notable one for me was Koeman, and okay. that went horrifically. He's younger though, and he we've seen a style, different style of play. Completely. Yeah, we've seen a different style of play from him. He seems to be more open-minded. Proven mm-hmm. saying Mourinho was better than Ole. They they were they won trophies. That's there's no there's no comparison between the two managers. He 
If what I'm is not, what is? Um, I like to Ole say the stream is back. By the way, what does Ole have to show for it? He hasn't. He didn't. Hi, Femi. Guys, uh, we said this last time. We'll say it again. Mikel said it has Mikhail an FA Cup to his name. Yeah. Ole has nothing. F all. Not F all. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, maybe Ten Hag is a good option for United. Now well, that Michael what, brought him up. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's brought him up. Um, maybe, <laughs> maybe then. Van de Beek will get some game time. We we saw Van de Beek play amazing, and if I'm Ten Hag and I'm moving to a bigger team, yeah, I, I'm seeing players like Anthony and Neres following me, and that's something very beneficial for a team. Yeah, because those are two amazing Brazilian players that sh- are showing a lot of potential. Yeah, at absolutely. Half time for Zenit against Juve, nil nil. Interesting. Imagine Fred losing that kind of opportunity. Fred Fred is a horrible football player. He's he, he was such a waste of money. Guys, look, I didn't I don't have um two injuries to Chelsea attack tonight. Lukaku and Werner are both out. That could be seriously bad in the future. Wait, Lukaku got injured tonight? B- both Werner and Lukaku. Both of them got injured tonight. Thomason. Thomason's a Chelsea where, fan, right? Where, I'm not sure. Thomason, are you a Chelsea fan? I think fan? we've asked him. Um, how did, how are you feeling about that? That's uh, horrible. Fred, you look, would, look you at that. Look at Fred Chance that he just missed. Horrible miss. Well, no, it wasn't. It wasn't a horrible miss. You've got to be hitting the oh, target wait, no, there. Oh, wait, no, that was a horrible oh, miss. Ronaldo's, Ronaldo's like, yelling, give me the ball. Um, Wouldn't want to be on that side of Ronaldo. Anyway, <laughs> Lukaku. I, I'm sure Chelsea fans are uh, looking now at themselves and they're like, I wish we kept Tammy. Because there's no, I don't, I don't know who's the next striker. And Giroud's Guys, gone Tammy's as well. Doing Giroud's good. gone as well, by the way. Tommy's doing great. He's been doing great so for is Roma. G- Giroud with is over in Italy as well. I'm Chelsea fan and it's devastating. Well, yeah. yeah, I can imagine because now the Premier League chances, if it's a serious injury, they go out the window. Yeah. So, you know, that could be a Liverpool in reverse. Oh, yeah. Liverpool no, it's, with their it's defensive injuries, and Chelsea, with, Chelsea their with their attacking injuries. Yeah. I hope that it isn't the case because I no, like knock a competitive on wood, league. I, I hope Lukaku and Werner are okay because I love both of Who them. Who even is the other option for um, for Chelsea? They don't have anyone. I'm not sure. Let me check. They've got probably some youngsters. But I can't imagine that they have. A if anyone knows. Tammy's who's, gone. Who's so. the backup for... Who's the backup for that Chelsea team? Please let us know. I'm going to check right now, obviously. But I really... Off the top of my mind, I... Can't think of Thank anyone. you, Kaiser Keen, for the subscription. A lot of subs today. Thank well, you, everybody. Absolutely, everybody, get involved. We're um, we're a, a rocket ship, and we're on our way to Mars. We're on our way to fourteen hundred subs. Obviously, please help us reach that target. By the way, that was a Queen song reference. I'm feeling very <laughs> musical tonight. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's find the players. All right, so okay. they could well, play they could Havertz. play Havertz. Yeah, Ziyech, Ziyech, Pulisic. Mm, Pulisic could play as a striker. He can. Um, let's see if there's any youngsters. They've got Ross Barkley who could play as an attacking mid if they, if they need else. to do that. Obviously, we're going to see some youngster come up for the bench. Yeah. But uh, Havertz and Pulisic are options. Callum hudson Odoi. They're going to have to be, improvise a little bit. Um, Masha's just saying Callum hudson Odoi. Yeah. You think he's going to play as a striker ahead of Havertz? I doubt it. Oh, another Rashford, chance. another miss here. Jeez. Well, and Ronaldo's just getting so mad. <laughs> you see... Ole, 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 the, the ole. pain. It's like, <laughs> it's, that was a bit comical, wasn't it? <laughs> Sevilla is still goalless. Half time here for United, by the way. Yeah, Isaiah. I mean, we, 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 <laughs> I mean, at least this game isn't goalless, but that's Same. not a good thing for the United fans. No. Uh, another thing. Let's just. Oh, Ole um, is trying to cheer up the fans. Thomas uh, saying Pulis has just been out for a fourth week now. Oh, he's out as well. All right. What? What's up, Ansu Fati? Uh, Ansu Fati signs a new contract with Barcelona until June One 2027. billion release clause. Just like Pedri. Here we go. Fair <laughs> enough. Keep hold of your players, man. Yeah, Villarreal is winning 2-0. Um, Guys, what in the world is going on? Hi, Baba Tunde. No, you're not late. This is the interesting part of the stream. This is where it's going to get real juicy. Guys, what can can somebody explain two to nil me for what Atalanta. is going on right now? Like, honest to God, what is going on? It's... I, I saw this Absolute coming, chaos. and I do think he's getting sacked tonight. Uh, we're going to tweet about it if he does get sacked. Look, big teams lose <laughs> lose games, right? They don't lose games this bad, this consistently. Wait, let's let's look at their form now. How is it, how is it actually going? Yeah, no, I mean, 
it's time to break it down. <laughs> it's time to break it down. Thank you to Let's all of not our subscribers. Our list, by the way. We've had like five or six, maybe seven. I think today alone we've had seven. He's counting them out by hand. Seven. We've had seven. She's Lucky old. number seven, but we want more. <laughs> more, more, more. <laughs> Everybody get involved. Tell all your friends to join. We're going to make a lovely little football community. We love all the support. Thank you, everybody, so much. It means a lot. By the way, the and game it has gone into halftime. And things are coming in the future as well. Lots of things. Very soon, you're going to see some more match, match vlogs. Um, so ever since that young boy's defeat, it's been loss. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> um, then a loss again in the EFL Cup against West Ham. Mm -hmm. Then a loss against Aston Villa at Old Trafford. A win against Villarreal. A draw against Everton. A loss, a huge loss against Leicester, and then a lot of most likely we see happening. Guys, I'm not laughing at United, I'm laughing at Ruben. Did Ronaldo come to win trophies? <laughs> I think he did. Poor, poor guy. Um, Strangers Imagine Juventus wins a trophy. This Strangers year. is to be or not to be, Miguel Van Zutphen's prediction of 1-2. Ronaldo came to win money, Pascal says. There's a hot debate going on in our comment section right now. He could have gone anywhere though, Pascal, to get money. He came back home hoping he can win something. Do you know what, guys? Do you know what you can do? It'll be a little bit of fun. They but are holding Benfica down. I want everyone in the chat right now mm -hmm. to go into the comment section below. Mm -hmm. Not the not the chat. The you comment have to hit section. the like button, by the way. Let's not yeah, hit the that. like button first on your way down. <laughs> then when you're down there, I want you to comment what you think the game will finish. So we're going to look back we're at this. We're going to look back at your comments. At the end of the game. I and like then uh, we'll see. We'll reward someone. We'll pin them. If they get the right um, prediction. <laughs> anyway, as promised, the, the highlight of our day is doing tier lists. Is it? We not? love this. So we're addicted to it. Let's, let's to get be honest, started. I haven't told Alexandra, but before I go to sleep, I make some tier lists <laughs> just to go to sleep. <laughs> All right. So what is um, the topic today? We've got also, Champions League strikers. I just like to tell everyone in the comments. Just get involved. Tell us your opinion on this because we just love to see it. Man United, cut your heart in case you don't know. <laughs> I love my club. <laughs> it doesn't sound like you do. <laughs> um, but yeah, so Champions League strikers. <laughs> and we've got <laughs> Champions League strikers. So this is strikers, like out and out strikers. Um, and we're going to be rating them on these tiers that we've created. Lethal being the most dangerous, then dangerous being semi-dangerous um gets the job done so like you know they'll do what they have to do seen better days quite self-explanatory it's not the best prime days for this player um and then teddy bear <laughs> kind of like ole you know looks looks um harmless and is harmless and does nothing and you're not scared of them basically ole is harmless yeah yeah i think so <laughs> i mean <laughs> little teddy bear <laughs> Ronaldo's a one man <laughs> show, I think. Individual achievement is his mission. You're right, yeah. Isaiah. I mean, Everyone's saying one three for Atalanta. Guys, isn't that what I said? Say it in the comments. In the comments Say it in the comments section down below. Um, okay, let's get started. Okay, we've got who's the first guy? Adeyemi. Adeyemi, Adeyemi from who Salzburg. Has had four goals in five games. In the Champions League. Yes. He's yes, been sir. He's been lethal. That's lethal. He I think he goes into lethal. He's a youngster that's upcoming. For Salzburg. He's uh, yeah, and he's upcoming in in football in general now, and the the likes of Liverpool are interested in him. Mm -hmm. He's looking very good. I don't know what's happening. I really don't know what's happening to you guys. I really we don't. We can't fix it, guys. We're not psychologists. Maybe maybe you guys are gonna you. contact me. I'll try and help. The game will end. Man United two three. Tatalanta. Okay, right in the comment though. Right. <laughs> yeah, in the comment section, not in here in the live chat. In the comment section, right below the video. Okay, so add the comment me. section, guys. Comment section, right <laughs> below the video, not in the live chat. I mean, feel free to put it both places. Yeah. Never mind. Um, Adeyemi. Would, Adeyemi. Would you put him lethal? Four goals, five five games. Let's put him in uh, lethal. Absolutely. Yeah. Rocking the Champions League. Um, Andre Silva. Hi, Dan Gote. And if we look I at hope Andre, I pronounced that right. If we look at Andre Silva. He scored yesterday. He scored yesterday. I think that was his only goal in three games. Okay. Um, so He's seen better days. Do you think? he's He's been hot in form with Frankfurt, obviously. Okay, but are we really going to say he's seen better days? I think he gets the job done. Like, he's an attacking threat. He didn't score against City, and Kuku got all the goals. 
And he didn't well, score against Club score Rouge. Against City, that's for sure. And he didn't score against Club Rouge. I don't know if he started in that game, obviously. Okay, but Holland didn't score against Ajax. So, like, we're going to say that he's fair seen enough. better days. So I he think, gets the job done, I think, think it's fair enough. All right. All right. Ruben believes Manchester United 3 2 against Azalata. Come back real. All right. <laughs> You're the got, only one that believes. We've got Sardar Azmoun, who okay. is an Iranian striker for Zenit. Okay. Um, he's actually had zero goals. Zero goals. So he is a teddy bear. Do you think he's... A, but, like, are we going to put everybody with zero goals in, in Teddy Bear? Well... I think I think in terms of Zenit going forward, mm-hmm. we're talking Champions League stage. Yeah. Teddy Bear, yeah. Okay. Because they're just not looking scary at all. Yeah. But Shuai... He's been phenomenal for Besiktas. I don't know what he's doing in the Champions League. You're going to tell us right now. Well, but he's been phenomenal in general for Besiktas. The issue with... Man that, United 4, Atalanta 3. Okay. Okay. okay, but that's the Super League. Zero goals in the Champions League. Okay. So, seen better days. He's I think. Days, I think yeah. he has seen better days. Yeah, absolutely. Karim, like the top two, three players now. He's got two goals door. in three matches. I, he is lethal. Nothing short of it, and I don't think he ever will be. He yeah. is. Um, he's not a go kart. He is not a go kart, <laughs> and he's made it clear to all fans. If you guys didn't know, Karim Benzema. It's not a go-kart. It's a Formula One He's car. He's a Formula One car. Anyway, um, <laughs> Bobby, senor. Um, si, senor. Two goals in two matches. Lethal. Do you think? Whenever he came on, scored goals, he got a hat-trick the other got day as well. a lot of predictions popping in. 4-2 for Man U. I swear to God, if I see this tonight, I'm telling you right now, I'm dying my hair. What uh, color? Red. red. Okay, 4-2. He if said Manchester it, Henry. If Manchester United makes it 3-2, Henry, you have aggravated I want him so all much. of you to go in the comment section down below, not the live chat, the comment section, and uh, comment yeah, the scores. And if you think Man United is going to win, if we get 10 comments saying that Man United is going to get 4-2 tonight, I'm going to dye wait, my wait, hair wait, red. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. So, 10 of you. No, no, You just said if Man United wins 4-2, you're yeah. dying your hair red. Yeah, but I need 10 fans commenting okay. it down below. All right. That's okay. not difficult. Fair enough. Um, I don't know if he's lethal. I think he's dangerous. He has okay. his moments. Sometimes he doesn't. Okay, he's right. not that scary, though. Okay. All right. He's mid middle. Of I'm the scared pack. of him and his teeth coming at me. He's like a like a shark. Jeez, that is just rude. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> I don't know. Can you zoom in on the? Oh, it's, it's the Malmo, Malmo player. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> it's a uh, Cholak. Who is on loan from Balk, I believe. Okay. In the 11 fixtures that they've played in the Champions League, they've played a lot of qualifiers. He's yeah. scored five goals. Really? So I think he absolutely, if he's not dangerous, then he gets the job done. He gets the job no, done. But this is a this is a European stage. This Fair is enough, a man but, on loan from Balk. But we don't know what teams they played in the qualifiers. True. That's the thing. Has Malmo been doing well in the group stages? No. Gets the job done, gets I think, is done. an honor to All him. Right. CR7. <laughs> Samson says he likes blue. No, it's, it has to be red for United. Two goals. I like blue as well, Samson. Two goals in three matches for CR7. He's lethal. We can't put him anywhere Of course. Else. There's it's, no it's question. UCL, put him yeah. up there. Come on. Um, all right. Now the we've Villarreal got... Kiddo. It's the Danjuma. Well, One goal Danjuma. in three matches. He's a dangerous player. I think he's... Da- he's a winger. Yes. He's a dangerous player. He, but he's been playing as their sole striker. playing as a striker, but he is a winger. Out of what I've seen. Okay. Um, he's very pacey, and I think that's why they're relying on him. Okay. He usually plays with two up top. Okay. Um, I think he plays with... And this is a man that came from the championship and went to Villarreal and is playing Champions League football now. Yeah. Who does he... Who's the other Villarreal attacker? I'm His name's eluding me right now. Is, yeah. Anyway, at this point, yeah, I oh, think no, he... Oh, no, it's the Pino guy, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And Moreno. Jared Moreno. Yeah. Um, they both scored tonight, obviously. Yeah. Um, I think we put him in dangerous. Okay. I, also, if Jared Moreno was there instead, we'd put him in dangerous too. Absolutely. So yeah. I think it just stands for VRL's attack. Yeah. Um, then we've got... David has been doing very well this season. He started off the season pretty well. I don't know about the Champions League. Um, I haven't actually written it. <laughs> Hold on. It's all right. Um, yeah, whoever doesn't know, David is a Canadian he's a star. Canuck. Um, represent he has been doing amazing zero goals so far zero though. goals in the Champions in the League, Champions okay. League. but right. he is very pacey very um, he's exciting seen, player he's seen better days though because he, he hasn't hit do you think he's seen better days yeah I think so yeah what? but that would that would imply that he's fallen off he has he hasn't scored in three games obviously for the Champions League it's not the craziest group for them it's Sevilla Wolfsburg and one other team I think okay. I can't remember seen better days because they did win the league and yeah. you expect them to do well yeah um, the youngster from Club Bruges. 
Um, that would be Dick Cataler. Cataler. I don't know why I said it with a French accent. Hi, Yusuf. Um, but yeah, zero goals so far. But he's 20 years old. Mm-hmm. I think there's a lot of potential there. And okay. it seems like they're relying on him. They're okay. putting him up top okay. in these big matches. And they have been fighting against the likes of Manchester City, um, uh, PSG, yeah, I yeah, did yeah, a derp no, there, big, big Villarreal. <laughs> I think he gets a top down. No, Villarreal, oh my God. No, um, they, they're not in the same group. Yeah, uh, uh, RB Leipzig, it's a he- very I difficult I think he group. gets a job done for what he's he's been there to do. He hasn't actually scored a goal, but I think if they're relying on him, then he must be making the attacking plays that they need. Okay. So I think... Maybe seen so better days. But that would imply that he's fallen off and he's 20. Fair enough, yeah. Which is Fair why enough. I'm yeah, having yeah, a yeah. bit of a... Yeah, yeah, I get what you mean. Yeah, yeah anyway. Let's keep him there. Gabriel Jesus... No, it's the pie, the pie. Oh, sorry, the pie. <laughs> um, he hasn't scored in the Champions League yet. He hasn't. Okay. But you can't say that he's seen better days because this is the best days he's seen, pretty much. I mean, other and, than in the French league. And he's involved in a very. He's in. He's a part of a very struggling Barcelona side. I right think now. he will get the job done. Okay. I think that the redemption is in nigh, okay. which is why I'm going to say gets the job done. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna put him above these two guys. Above or below? Be above these guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think Gabriel Jesus, one goal in two fixtures. Listen, it's a rotating team. So basically, he could be Ferran Torres, he could be Foden, he could be Grealish. And I don't see how we would put them in any place. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. All it's of them. dangerous. All of it's them. not lethal. City don't have that out and out striker that makes us quake in our boots. Yeah. That's for sure. But their attack in general makes us quake in our boots. I don't need, really need to introduce the other next guy, though, right? Do I have Erling to? Haaland. I don't need to introduce him or say anything. He's actually only scored one goal in two matches. But, but I mean... He's lethal and there's no conversation about no, it. I mean, especially absolutely. in the Champions League. He's yeah. in a crowd with lots of really he, lethal players. His name is up there with the biggest. Yeah. I think we, they we're going to have some City fans who are mad at us that we put Jesus in Dangerous. Maybe we'll look at that at the end. No. Okay, Haller. Haller, I was... Lethal. Never expecting to say this, but six goals in three matches. That man almost deserves a tier of his own. And in terms of Champions League, in terms of just, just, wow. If he continues like this, he can finish for Golden Boot for the Champions League. Absolutely. With no question. Um, then we have Ibro. Who I Zlatan. believe he he's hasn't even played a Champions League match yet. He's always dangerous. Oh, he's played though. one. Okay. He's played one. He... He's always dangerous. I don't think it's get. I don't think that he's seen better days. I think he's just dangerous. End yeah. of story. Let's yeah. leave it there. Um, Even because of his age, still he is dangerous, and he always will be dangerous. Well, because of his age, or despite his despite age? his age. So, yeah, sorry, yeah. yeah. Ilicic, um, he hasn't scored a goal. Okay, but he is a dangerous man. He's playing tonight, is he not? Yeah. So. I mean, they're 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 ta- they're doing the job. They're doing get the, the job. Get the job done. Maybe he didn't get a goal, but they've he, been. He's been doing the job. Yeah, dangerous. Which team is that? That is Shakhtar. Shakhtar Donetsk. That is Lasina Traore, who's gotten one goal in the six fixtures. Okay. I think he gets the job done for the team. Um, Shakhtar never going to challenge for the. Th- they're never going to challenge. I think he's seen better days though. Okay. Yeah, I because think so. they are qualifiers. He could have. I don't know what teams they played obviously against. Seen but better days. Fair yeah. enough. We'll put him there. Lautaro. He's got a no goals. In three games? Yeah, he hasn't gotten a single goal. Okay, he's seen better days. Do you think so? He's He's been phenomenal for them. He has seen better days. Okay. The second half has started. We'll go get to that very quickly. Um, Lewandowski, <laughs> do you want to guess how many scored, uh, goals he's scored? Okay, is there another category? In three, in three <laughs> matches, four goals. Three matches, he's, four goals. He's saying three matches, and I'm saying four goals. <laughs> Incredible player. Just wow. <laughs> He's one of my favorite players of all time. He's incredible. Um, yeah. Romelu. No, he, he's only scored one. He's only scored one. No, he hasn't scored any. Okay. And he's injured tonight as well. And he's injured. So yeah. he's definitely seen better days. I would yeah. never put him in teddy bear category no, because no. the man is not a teddy bear. He's quite a big guy. <laughs> he could beat me up for saying that. Mbappe, one goal in three fixtures. Okay. He's seen Sh- better days. No. He's seen better days. If you're going to put Erling Haaland up there, who's only scored one and two, then you're going to put Mbappe up there, who's only scored one and three. Fair enough. <laughs> End of story. That's an argument there. If you have Mbappe in your team, then be scared if you're the defense. Um, yeah. Moving on. Porto. So, for FC Porto, 
we've got Mehdi Tarami, another Iranian striker. Kay. He scored one goal and there's six, which three of them are qualifying. So Kay. I think it's just gets the job done. Like, okay. fair enough. Yeah. Um, he starts and I think he, he contributes. He starts, he got a goal, he contributes, don't know the assist, obviously. Yeah. Um, we hope so too for a goal. We hope, we hope a miracle happens for United so all they can stay. What? <laughs> <laughs> um, then we've got... Uh, Meschak Elia for young boys. One goal in nine fixtures. I think he's a teddy bear. One goal in nine fixtures. Yeah. Young Horrible. boys is not looking as dangerous as they did when they almost they drew with United. Yeah. Um, yeah. They, they did draw, right? No, they beat them. They beat, sorry, yeah. they beat United. Yeah. Alvaro Morata. Mi- Michael is saying Lewa and Haaland is on a different level from all the others and Mbappe is not that lethal. We'll look at it at the end. Look. Um, I don't disagree. Morata one goal in one match. <laughs> Do you know what? Lethal. Lethal. I'm not putting him above gets the job done. Put him in dangerous and we can call it a day. No. Call him no. But that Drake, guy. Euros, Spain, he was incredible. Gets the job done. All right, whatever. Uh, we'll look at it again. We'll he, look at it again. He ain't incredible. Paulinha. <laughs> Paulinho, sorry. Two Sporting. goals and three. Two goals and three. Two goals and three. That's dangerous. He's dangerous. Put that him is up a there. dangerous Absolutely guy. Absolutely right deserves there. the respect on his name. Respect. Respect. <laughs> is that Sevilla? Um. Yeah. Rafa Mir, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Rafa Mir. He hasn't scored so far. What do you think? It's a teddy bear. <laughs> All right, put him in the teddy bear. Little, little teddy bear. Little teddy bear. <laughs> little teddy bear. Chiku, chiku, chiku. <laughs> um. All right. We've got Luis. 3-0 for Chelsea. Luis, who was on the bench yesterday. Mm-hmm. Um, he scored one goal in three matches. And if he started, I think he probably would have scored yesterday. Yeah. It would have been him He's instead dangerous. of Griezmann. He's a dangerous man. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Even his age. Um, He's a dangerous man. Yeah. We've got Dinamo, I think. Um, that's Supria. Supria? <laughs> Sup- <laughs> Jesus Christ. Zero goals in two. Dinamo doesn't look dangerous. I think he's a teddy. A little itchy itchy. Yeah. <laughs> um... Then we've got Vaut. Did you know that his first name was Vaut? Vaut Weckhorst. Yeah. It's such a heavy s- surname and then Vaut. Uh, three goals. Oh, sorry. Zero goals in two matches. I was okay. looking at his Bundesliga. He hasn't scored, but he is a good he, player. He does get the job done. But f- on the Champions League stage? True. He's seen better days then. I think so. Yeah, you're right. Um, I also think we should bring down the, um, Who? the man in orange. Because... Teddy bear. Yeah, because I don't see... Uh, He's a little teddy bear. Yeah, I don't see them challenging. <laughs> um, zoom in. What in the world is that? Sheriff. Oh, it's Sheriff. What in the world is that? Um, <laughs> poor Sheriff. I, do you know what? I'm going to go... I'm going to go with the gets the job done. Okay. For this. All because right. he's absolutely gotten the job done. Like, <laughs> if anyone has, it's him. Yeah. Um, That's Benfica. That's Benfica. And that is Yarim Chuk. Okay. He's gotten three goals and seven fixtures. He's dangerous. Okay, yeah. Yeah. He's dangerous. All right. All right. The most contentious, I think, is Morata and Andre Silva, mm-hmm. um, potentially. The second corner is coming soon. Elvis. And Depay. Mm-hmm. Has Depay seen better days? I think he has. If we're putting Lukaku there, then we have to put Depay Fair there. Fair enough. Bring yeah. him down. We Lautaro's could also say that for Andre Silva. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, this is... <laughs> Guys, honestly, I have no idea. Um, what was what was it that Michael said we should change? Morada's, Morada's a, teddy a teddy bear. Thank bear. you very much. I completely agree with you. He's a he's a shit player. Hey, hey, hey! Calm it down. <laughs> um, I I think Michael said something else earlier. What? What he said that we should move something. Oh, uh, le- uh, Le-Wan Mbappe Haaland. is not lethal. All right, let's move Mbappe down. Let's move Mbappe down. He's in good company with Ibrahimovic and uh, Bobby Firmino. Leave him right there on the edge. And Gabriel Jesus. And uh, let's put down uh, Andre um, Morata. Morata the teddy bear. <laughs> Whatever. I'm leaving it. <laughs> I'm retiring. Enough. So there it is. Let's move on to the game. <laughs> yeah, let's move on to the game. Um, Did we give the second code? No, I'm going to give it all We're right now. We're giving the guys, second code I? right now, you guys. So yeah, a little bit of halftime entertainment <laughs> spilled into the... Because we were just so interested, you know. Um, it's fun. Come on. We've got... Darl's or Don't worry guys, it's still 2 0. United are he's, he's getting their ass. Hardcore beat. red, but I'm bleeding. I'm sorry. <laughs> are you bleeding red? <laughs> guys, I love it. <laughs> oh my. It's the, dr- it's the dramatics of a United. Bruno's fan. on the right flank 
tries to cross. That's a pathetic Roberts cross. When you have Ronaldo up, you send it up. Roberts doesn't like what Man United is doing. Um, no in what sense? I mean, United doesn't lo- like what they're doing. Not only are they doing. defending poorly, they're attacking poorly. They need to change it up. Ole, this is your chance. This is your last redemption, last chance they, alone. Let's see a goal. They need a goal ASAP. 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 And that is going to... Um, time to change my password. <laughs> yeah, I know, Yusuf. Um, this can liven up Old Trafford, and this will help them get the push they need. They need a goal, though, soon. We've got Master Shop saying, what's happening to Man United? He's heartbroken. We've got bleeders. We've got heartbreakers. Guys, a lot of pain. Ole, you're bringing a lot of pain sorry, to your guys. fans. We're sorry, It's going to be okay, we promise. <laughs> <laughs> um, United are holding the ball at the moment. Um, they're playing it around the back, but it seems like they're trying to push progressively. I think all they gave them... What do you think? What kind of d- instructions do you he think? He went in there and he said score. That That's it. That's what they got from Ole. Solid team talk. 15 minutes. Sometimes less is more. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> we'll, we'll see if it works. Okay, good. Oh, what was beautiful ball from Bruno to Rashford. Rashford Let's in the box. Rash- beautiful oh, what finish. what a finish. Oh, Bottom left. Marcus, I... Do you know what? Marcus Rashford is very dangerous. He's been looking more dangerous than Mason Greenwood and Cristiano Ronaldo. Hey, don't and worry. Yeah, guys, it's all right. You don't need the to comeback bleed no more. Here's the comeback. It's going to happen 4-2 for United. I'm going to get red hair. No, this is not happening. I, <laughs> could they come back? Potentially, Look, yes. They can definitely tie this Old game. Old Trafford is going to be chaos and craziness right now. Roberts, they just scored, man. Let's have some positivity for your team. <laughs> that was a nice, tidy little finish from Rashford. Beautiful finish. Um, great ball from Bruno Fernandes, has beautiful, to be said. Beautiful. Just Outside foot. It was kind of like a Salah thing that we saw against Watford. Beautiful. That's what we want to see from Bruno Fernandes. He's a world-class player. That's what he player. can do. Yeah. Absolutely. And Rashford, beautiful finish. you're back. You've got a new trim and you've scored a beautiful Guys, goal. guys, don't be, don't be crying. Hey, stop it. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at the passion there. <laughs> Yeah, Rash, Rashi. Rashi. Watch 4-2 Man U. If this happens, I swear to God. He's actually going to get uh, <laughs> his hair dyed. He's just putting his hair on the line every week for you guys. I mean. Hit the like button for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, absolute chaos. I have to check the comments. See if anybody commented on the Oh, I'll check it right now. Bayern Munich 1-0 against Benfica. Mm. It's about time. Jeez. It is about time. Atalanta looking to push. I think they're kind of rattled by what just happened. Because United are very strong going forward and they can turn this around very easily. Um, they Atalanta could easily get a goal. Though. Oh my God, I love this. Isaiah, he's just said, um, Manchester fans, sorry. Chelsea fans, auditorium is still has a few vacant seats. <laughs> first come, first serve. <laughs> so not only are you saying there's a couple of seats, but you know come soon <laughs> join the party <laughs> should i take off the man united shirt no we hit 1.4k by the way thank you guys oh, so thank much you guys it means a lot to us oh my god ronaldo has been absolutely violated no, um, i'm not gonna lie i can't find our comment section robert right? stay positive um three two in favor of manchester united mark my words folks all right i mean could happen what a nice kid Atalanta has, eh? <laughs> yeah, honestly. <laughs> Trying to change the conversation because my hair is comment- on the line now. I don't think we have a comment section yet. Are we mm. being stupid? Maybe we have. Oh, God. I'm sorry, guys. Don't worry. We'll scroll back to all when, the comments. When the live stream ends. We'll scroll back and com- we'll... Comment when the live stream ends. Yeah. No, what am I saying? No, comment now and we'll go through the live comment chat. Comment now we'll go through the live yeah, chat yeah, yeah, and yeah. we'll shout out to the person who got it right. Roberts, come on. What is this negativity? He's just crying. <laughs> one two for man okay. united it's only the 55th minute listen ole is gonna get his crap together and can you they guys swap mcguire for oh Zapata's coming on united fans be scared be scared because this man is he's a great we've got player. a we've got a free kick here obviously for well, do united you know this could be it for you guys you ronaldo's on the ball the classic stance where he has his legs open more than he should <laughs> Jeez. we've got a zenit fan here Go Zenit. Okay. Mm-hmm. Can they swap Maguire for Sergio Ramos? Yeah, may- maybe if you give like... Would P- you take Van Dyke? Would you take Van Dyke? Is that an actual question anymore? Ronaldo... Bruno took the final wow. Oh, was it Bruno? I think it was Bruno. Yeah, I think it was Bruno. He's mad. 
No, it was no, Ronaldo. It was Ronaldo. I'm I sorry. I, I don't know how I mixed those it was two. Ronaldo up. and he was going for a shot bottom right Nothing. corner. I don't know what he was going for. Byron that. Gold disallowed again. Again. All right, Michael. Thank you for that. Did not see that. VAR is like that magician that just swoops what in. What is going on? Takes with? away everything. What is going on there? Um, we've got it's it's M- shocking. who said Man United would lose two three to Atalanta. Um, everyone's predicting a lot of goals. It could happen. Better days ahead is the hope speech for all the planned and prepared personalities. Isaiah is just preaching out here. Ruthless. Man, you are ruthless. Um, We've become a Chelsea fan uh, channel, apparently. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Chelsea, here we go. (laughs) Pasalic, the goal scorer, has just gone on a red card. Shaw is on the floor. Darun has it yet. Oh my God, he's getting booked left, right, and center. Jeez. United are going to have to up the tempo now. (laughs) I need to flog all United players. I'm angry. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> oh my god wow. did Chelsea score another goal 4-0 for Chelsea wow. again Jorginho Jorginho from a penalty yeah penalty again um, Havertz Chris Havertz Hansen. scored with a Callum hudson Adoy assist so that's is, very positive for Havertz Chelsea Havertz first goal in the season I think it is might be um, that's very positive for Chelsea fans to see that guys these two kids are coming in and Shaw crosses it in Maguire gets ahead on it, but he's on the ground. I think it was Lindelof, actually. Okay. Guys, for all those... No, it was Maguire. It's the captain. Okay. Been. For all those um, United fans that are very upset right now, what do you guys want to see change? Like, what do you think is the most pressing thing that needs to change? He has one goal in the Prem as well. And Habits. if it's Ole... Okay, that's good. If it's if it's Ole that you have a problem with, who are you going to replace him with? Let's stop crying. We and need he, Fergie's yeah, in back. Okay, there we go. Yeah, Fergie's going to... Let's gonna take it back into our Do you our understand hands. if Fergie comes onto this bench, he's dying from a heart attack? Ma- the, he will not be able to handle it. Yeah. Um, Manchester United, please prepare well for the next game without your present coach. Sincerely. <laughs> I'd say that. <laughs> um, People are not happy. Yeah, no. And they scored a goal, by the way. I think... Um, I'll send the second quote out now, guys. Ole should leave first. Yeah, I mean, I think he should. Absolutely, he should. Um, Greenwood... Crossed it in. Oh, McTominay. It hit, we just didn't even notice that it hit the post. Really? Yeah. McT- <laughs> McTominay just hit the post um, from a Greenwood cross. But nothing came of it, obviously, because it hit the post. Like a low and level commentary. <laughs> it's not a goal because it hit the post. Well, Second code is out, you guys. I think that's Get how involved. it works. Doesn't it? Yeah. If you hit the woodwork, then it doesn't go in. Usually. Um, yeah, so two one at the moment. Let's see if they can turn it around. <laughs> Tomorrow trivia question: How many goals Jorginho scored from the penalty? <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, two. Maybe it'll today. happen, buddy. <laughs> Maybe I'll talk to the trivia, the trivia girl. Yeah, you should have. You should. You guys should have guessed the second code. Come on, how did you not guess it? <laughs> That's not the point of the game, is it? You should have guessed it though. I gave out the second quote, guys. It's right there. Is it inevitable that United scores? I think it is. They've looked at different teams as they've come they've out. Came they've came out the post. stronger, more confident. It seems like the pep talk from Ole of score worked. They scored. I don't know if he specified how many goals they should score. Mm-hmm. Maybe they got mixed up and they're like, okay, he said score. We got one. Yeah. Let's stay back well, now. Um, <laughs> uh, just stop. <laughs> <laughs> Atalanta are pressing forward. If they get another goal, that's a dagger in the heart, and I think that's it. For that United. that'll break every Man United fan's heart in the stadium, and it will most likely destroy the fa- the fo- the players won't be able to f- fight again. Guys, who are you gonna bring in? Who are you gonna bring in? Because Con- that that's Con- the big question of the Conte day. Conte would be the, I think, the ideal option for them right now. Someone to come in right now knows how to win the Premier League. Just take over this superstar team. Okay. Um, oh Pascal for, you predicted 74 Bruno just played a pass into nowhere and Atlanta have the ball again they're pressing forward I think that's Zapata um, he's playing it back United come on man Like they're saying they think Conte should Conte. as well Conte okay fair enough I don't know I had don't a th- shot oh and it's way I don't off. think Zidane is a keyboard manager May like yeah. keep it on the ground man what are you doing I agree Thomason <laughs> What are you doing, man? Get your shit together. <laughs> United have been dominating the position even more in the second half. 64 to 
36. Mm-hmm. Atlanta are pressing. They like, are pressing. Uh, Manchester United is trying to come out of their own half right now. And they are struggling. Is that the best defense? Is that what they're doing? As a defense, they're attacking. For Atalanta, they're, they're, I think the goal is here. Press them. They want to score. Well, we're pressing you right up to your goal. Try and score. Mm-hmm. Make a mistake. We'll see what happens. Yep. Can't eat anymore. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Guys, it's going to be this all is right. depression here. Jeez. Um, everyone's been through it. You know, at least Liverpool, you're not an Arsenal fan. Liverpool went through it. Arsenal went through it. All teams go through this. Unless you've got a lot of money and you're... F- and Don't you're, call out a team. And your owner isn't afraid to splash the cash. Newcastle, <laughs> here we come. Black and white. I told you what he said to motivate the player. Score. Ole doesn't give pep talks. Like, actually? I'm I'm, I'm sure he told Maguire oh, to give Atlanta one or another. forward. They've got some good through balls going. They've been quite dangerous going forward. Like, it seems like they're going to score whenever they get the ball. Oh, shot from shot outside the it box. Doesn't deflected. quite fall to the uh, attacker. Otherwise, who knows? <laughs> Thomason is tired of watching the Chelsea match, so he's back here. <laughs> they're not playing their best, but they are getting goals. Well, that's what mm. matters. Not yeah. their best, but it's four zero. Yeah. Imagine they were playing at their best. I suppose there was two penalties, as well. <laughs> I know. I don't know what's going on. Honestly, what's going on, send guys? Send your dinner to me, please, since you can't eat anymore. <laughs> I must be a city fan saying that. <laughs> <laughs> and my favorite was Isaiah with his uh, auditorium yeah. of Chelsea fans. First come, first serve. <laughs> okay, Bruno Fernandez pressing. Rashford, Rashford is on the ball. He's playing around. Is he gonna have a shot? Try to take a, a shot. Long. False Luke Shaw crosses, Luke Shaw it, crosses in it in. No nowhere. one there. When you've got Ronaldo, try and get it to him. You know. Honestly, like, it's a decent player, He's you know. He's quite well known for scoring goals with his head, you know. I, I, I heard he scored a few in his career. Another chance. Bruno. Foster Ronaldo. Oh, he has a shot and it's a good save. save. It's a good reaction. It didn't have a lot of power on didn't it. didn't have but a it lot of power, sneaky. but it was a good save, yeah. It was kind of like the similar shot to Rashford. A bit of a different more angle because he had to twist his body. But so, good save. Second half. They've had a goal. A shot on target now, which was very close to they've, being another the, goal. The goal was the second half. I'm not dreaming, right? Was it first half? No, no, it was second half. So they've yeah. had a goal, they've yeah. hit the post, <laughs> and Ronaldo has just had a near miss. Yeah. So it's pretty decent. I think Edis has just got smacked in the face. Whoever did Yellow give the pep talk shot. has done a good job. Obviously, it's not Ole. Um, they ain't given Ronaldo much option. Well, yeah, I think so. Um, they need to get it to him. I don't think he, he's had it that much. He hasn't been fed the ball so far. Yeah. Other than this Bruno pass right now, which was really nice. Yeah. Beautiful Under, through the legs, the legs, and then yeah. the keeper has a really good reaction to keep that out. Wonderful shot, fantastic save. From yeah, the Baba Tunde was a really good shot, good save. Atalanta now pressing, pressing, pressing in, in on United's the edge of the box. box. Some Fred last dish defending from Fred. Zabada in the box. Zabada in the box. He and tries to take a shot and he misses he the ball. Misses. <laughs> and now we have Bisaka running for the counter attack down the right flank. He's got he's got Rashford, Ronaldo, and Greenwood. Rashford's in with space. Rashford. See what he does with it. He crosses, crosses it, it in. in. Into Ronaldo. Greenwood. Oh, into oh. Greenwood. Sorry. And he tried to. He tried to. I don't know what he tried to do there. To Did he honest. try to do the, f- you know, the flick? Flick in the air. Yeah, it didn't really work there. Ronaldo looks so fresh. Every time someone messes up, Ronaldo does a hand gesture. Yeah, no, it he must is. be really stressful playing with him. Yeah, Man United like coming from the back to either win or draw. They do like that. That is true. Ronaldo likes it too, apparently. And Atalanta is a good defensive team, so we'll see what happens. Obviously, Thomas and yeah, we have shown the United fi- uh, fixtures for the next couple games. Uh, no, for the previous games, their next couple games are horrible, horrible. too. Horrible. So good luck to you. There are another. It's worth sixty fifth. Twenty five minute. minutes left, plus extra time, obviously. Mm-hmm. The second cone is right above you. If you check what Amali said. Yep. Atalanta pressing forward. Zabata has been pretty um, influential since he came on. He's Other been involved. Other than the trying to kick and miss the yeah, ball completely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, they're playing creative football. They're playing through balls. They're in the box right now again. Corner for Atalanta. And it's Fred that concedes the corner. 
Babatunde says Van Visaka should reduce the way he overlaps because the Atalanta guards are pacey and it might cost United more goals. Yeah, mm. if they are open in the uh, Cavani and Pogba coming on right now. For McTominay. Yeah, if they do push a lot, this Atalanta side is really good at counter-attacking, we've seen. Guys, Pogba coming on, I think, is going to have an impact. I think it must have an impact. For Rashford, Rashford off. Uh, Cavani. I don't, I don't know if I agree with that. I, I, I take I Greenwood off. P- I think I'd put Lingard on. Instead of come I'm, on, sh- I'm come sure on. he will come on a bit later on. Um, no, I think now is the time. I think he's completely underrated. Obviously, he, he gave is. away he gave away that goal and it was horrible, but he also scored a screamer. So yeah, cut my ticket again. <laughs> Predicted the <laughs> don't, United to win. Don't the do it, Ibrahim. They're gonna they're gonna draw. I I bet you anything. Um, United are not winning the EPL. That's for sure. <laughs> what? I'm not gonna watch any Manchester United matches I've in November. I've never seen an angrier or sadder fan. I, I'm here with you, man. All right, don't worry about we it. We feel your pain. This is where you can cry about it. <laughs> Cav- I don't like Cavani coming on. I don't think it's the right option. Is he gonna play in the middle? Is Le- is uh, Ro- I'm assuming, Ronaldo yeah. gonna hit up the left? Yeah. Is that Yarmenchuk? Yarmenchuk. Yarmenchuk, the Russian. And we saw at the or World is it Miranchuk? Cup. Miranchuk. No, it's Miranchuk. Miranchuk. We saw at the at the World Cup he, for he Russia. Play, he he was good, really good. You know, he's a twin. He's a twin. Yeah. Really? He's got a twin brother. Oh, it's Miranchuk. Yeah. Miranchuk. All right. Alexei, and I think his brother's like Ivan. Or I don't know why okay. I know this. He's a very dangerous player. Very yeah, good. I think could be good for Atalanta and, here. Nice and, kit. You're right. And he's also putting on Malinovsky. He's showing that he's not afraid to put attacking players on and continue I pushing like this United the gusto team. Gusto of that. Gotta have the kahunas to do that, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. If Antalanta could hold on to the pressure till 75 minutes, the score is ending 1-3 as I predicted. Yeah, I think so too, Pascal. I really think so. Did Mickey say 2-1 Atalanta? You said it too. I said 3-1 Atalanta. Ah, Mickey yeah. said 2-1. Yeah, she so did. So it's on... Uh, she's asleep because she has <laughs> school. Cavani yeah. is an unpredictable forward. He's quick, experienced, and dangerous. Yeah, he's going to bring a lot of experience into the, the, the okay, attack Maybe it right is now. the right call. Maybe it could we'll be wrong. We'll see. Right now, I don't think it is. I think there needs to be more um, pace. There needs to be more like blistering excitement. I on think Rasha came off because he was injured. By the way, if I'm not mistaken, oh, right. I think he had a bit of a problem okay. with his foot. Hopefully, he's all right. Um, Pogba's on as well. Yeah, let's he's not underestimate that. I, I Cavani is playing started. on the left. Sorry, Cavani's playing on the left. Don't agree with him. That is a bad decision. Out and out, I think that's a bad decision. Ronaldo should be on the left. Or at least two up front, green one in the back. Yeah, I mean, Ronaldo so. can cut inside easy yeah. all day long. Um, Zapata is weird decisions. Yeah, it's just not weird decisions. I don't, I don't know if Cavani was the right. I honestly think they need someone to create and bring the ball up front, as you said, and Lingard would be the guy for mm-hmm. that with Pogba. I think to any problem, I Lingard's my solution. <laughs> <laughs> to any problem. <laughs> Broke a pipe in your toilet, Lingard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they steal the ball. Cavani plays it. Short. Greenwood. Oh, Ronaldo? he's offside. Oh. I think. Well, the keeper gets couldn't it. Couldn't keep anyway. up with it anyway. I think he was off though. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm tripping. <laughs> he's pissed. He's it's the same reaction every time. <laughs> Get better. <laughs> <laughs> Atlanta should be where if. Ronaldo's still on the pitch. He is a draw magician. He's a tapping magician. Isaiah That's what he is. He's just crazy, man. He's a tapping magician, Isaiah. True that. True that. <laughs> I don't end up playing forward. Come on, let's see some action. Ooh. Ah. Uh, misplaced pass, and they could have been forward there. It could have been through. Foul, though, for Atalanta, so. Still getting hold of the ball. Maguire, you have nothing to say Who's to Who's had a bad game? Well, obviously, Maguire and Lindelof conceding two at home. Yeah. Um, in general, the defense, the midfield has been lacking, in my opinion. I, d- I haven't seen creativity. Even Bruno, other than the assist, I haven't seen much from him. Mm-hmm. Taking control. You would want to see Bruno, the main man, that has been the main man so far. I think Bruno's been decent. I think he's been one of the better players. Yeah. The rest <laughs> of the players have McTominay been... McTominay obviously came off because he was horrible. Fred... He's just Fred. I have nothing else to say about that. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, wow. Zapata, beautiful control. Oh, shot right on Guys, the Guys, that was one of the... 
Oh, another save. That is oh a my crazy, God. crazy moment. De Gea wow. makes a wonderful save. And then I we, mean, it was targeted at him. And then we had, we saw Malinowski take a shot from like 25 yards outside on De Gea again, obviously. What a beautiful control. Flicked it over, turned it on his other side and had a shot with his left. Boom. And then a uh, pretty powerful shot, but it's at Good job De Gea. To De Gea. Um, Good job no, to De Gea. No, good reaction. He had to stretch out beautiful. his foot a little bit for that. Keeping and then Malinowski, them in the game. he does have to push a little bit to get that save you were asking for players De Gea has been De Gea has been uh, he just kept them in the game decent, you know he's yeah. been decent he's been decent so far this season in general but let's not look at the two goals and say he's been bad it's this defense has no been it is a down. decent defense fault no question corner Ronaldo falls covered someone it. who's on his own oh oh, oh my do you know my. he was completely on Go his own on. there and that, that's that not. was a center back that's not good enough. They if had he hit the target, players, that, that would be a problem. They had four or five players marking the tall players. doing up. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. And then nobody's on two Atalanta players. Allows them to make the pass, and, and there's a good I'd just like to say soccer. Bayern has scored. I don't know if VR is going to cancel it again, again, Michael. But I'd like to say... It's a corner for Atalanta. Bayern has scored, Michael. I don't They're know about the VR. This is, this is an exciting game. They've had chances it's on both sides. It's becoming even more exciting now, the second half here. It's really lit. Cross in here again for Atalanta. Falls oh. to the back post, but nobody... Palomino again. Palomino the doesn't get his back. head to it. Yeah. Sancho's coming on. Thoughts? Look, you paid the big bucks. For Try him to play 18 minutes of football. He he needs to start stepping up. He needs to start giving Greenwood's us... Greenwood's off. Greenwood off. He, yeah, hasn't, he, had hasn't, he hasn't had a great game. Yeah. Uh, the minute now is 72nd minute. Um... So they've completely changed the attack except this for CR7. This is actually a good decision because now we have another player that is able to feed the ball instead of ball hogging the ball yeah. and wanting to score. Mm-hmm. The land is blue today, Julius. Guys, said. everything's to play for. I think this could be where they win or lose or draw. This could go 1-3. Another Michael Owen. They could moment. draw it. <laughs> for God's sake. <laughs> Thank God Greenwood is off. Jeez. Yeah, Greenwood has haven't didn't have a no, good game today. No, not at all. Sancho, hopefully this is the game. If it, if there is any game, this is a game where United fans are hoping Sancho can prove absolutely why they paid the big money for yeah. him. Sané scored from a free kick. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you, Michael. Good on him. Um, Pogba was it a nice through? free kick? Never mind. Pogba was not through. <laughs> um, Zapata gives it back to Pogba. A little bit reckless defending Pogba. Sancho on the ball. He's dribbling. He's kept the ball, but he's he, got nobody to dribbled. pass to, and he's. It's, he won corner. a corner. He won That's a corner. Good. All right. Good first touch from Sancho. Let's hope that something more um, promising comes out. So they've won a corner. That's very good for them. Bruno Fernandes is, is on it. It's a good time it's for them to score. It's a desperate time, you know. Desperate time. Desperate measures put on two attackers. Crossing it in. Maguire. Okay. Oof, nice save. It falls into the hands of the keeper. Good save from the keeper. Safe. Um, Maguire looks pissed. Ole looks like he's got a stain in his pants <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> he just does um shaw playing it to one bisaka pope was asking bisaka to come forward yeah I mean, well, you have enough. to push they forward need, there's space players forward pogba chips it up okay he plays it into the right flank there's nobody there They're and they want another corner here kind we go. Of, um, They're quite dangerous from these corners. Defending They've got some tall individuals that can head the ball. Absolutely. As Ronaldo, we know. of course. Ronaldo. He's one of those. <laughs> oh, quick it, corner. They play it very fast. Corner taken quickly. There was nobody. There was in no there. one. I don't know why he took it that quickly. It was just Cavani. Yeah. Um, okay, Sancho on the ball. Again. Bruno crossing it in again. Cavani. Back to my. <gasps> Falls to, oh Lind- my to Maguire. Oh my God. He falls to, what a Ma- of all finish. players, what it's Maguire. He, uh, to be fair, he oh. had an open goal oh. on that side. There was no there was no goalkeeper blocking that. And he's put it away. And Old Trafford is they sub on, on two fire attackers right now. And Maguire scores. And Old Trafford is on fire right now. Yeah, good job, guys. You're drawing at home. Look, they, they've got no, a lot kidding. of time now ahead Absolutely of them. Absolutely well win. done. Um, this could change everything. This could change This could change everything. everything. It's going to be one of those... It's I a, told it's, you it's all he's a, a bastard. Af- he won't let them win. <laughs> it's after that stupid cross from Bruno. We get another cross in. Cavani lets it oh. go. What a finish, eh? No, it's not Cavani. That, uh, I mean, Cavani lets it go, but then a Atalanta defender. Did he, I, I don't think, think he touched it. No, no, he didn't. No, oh, no, he didn't. Um, and then what a finish by Maguire! No, good eh? timing, um, good you'd composure. D- oh, Atalanta are forward. You'd expect nothing. 
one of your attacking players to be on the left side there waiting for the ball, but it was Harry Maguire. <laughs> Mavogunje, we've got 15 minutes left. Uh, thank, thank you, you Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> I mean, say your prayers. <laughs> Look, it's a draw. You guys need a win. So don't be happy with this. You need you need better. Oh, God, we've got some uh, rivalry between the Chelsea and United fans. Guys, keep it friendly, all right? We love be each civilized. other down here. Be civilized. This isn't, this isn't Chelsea or United. This is the Panda podcast, all right? One more goal from Ronaldo and he's got puppy eyes. This man is crazy. He's been so entertaining. No Sancho. Congratulations on the consolation goal. Ah. So you're just rubbing salt in the wound, aren't you? Aren't you, Isaiah? <laughs> this man. <laughs> Everyone's popping off tonight. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see what United can do. It's time. In the next it's high time, y'all. Last 15 minutes. Young boys won two against VRL, by the way. Well done to young boys. Getting one back at getting least. A, yeah, getting a goal back. 15 minutes, all to play for. This is prime time again. We're in the meaty part of the match. The meaty part. I sound like Bear Girls when I say that. It's a r- real meaty part. <laughs> of this ant. <laughs> <laughs> Miguel Evans, if you miss your correct score. Not to be. That's right, stranger. You, you've been keeping track of especially Mickey's score. Yeah. <laughs> She's asleep, but I'll tell her <laughs> when she wakes up. Um, Atalanta coach is not happy. Now Atalanta needs to react, obviously. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Leave Jesus out of this <laughs> match. <laughs> It is indeed 2-2. Um, what do you think? What Do you think it was the subs that made the change or do you think it was just lucky? Because it was Bruno who crossed it, right? Yeah. It was Bruno uh-huh. who crossed it and Maguire who scored. No, Nothing new. No, it, it isn't something tactically different. Yeah. It was a horrible corner, to be honest with you, that started everything. I if anything, it put the Atalanta defense off, like, what's yes. going on here? No, the defending was horrible. Yeah, they, they, were, they were all sleeping. They were um, rattled. But, but to be fair, you left Maguire open. It's, I don't blame you. Yeah, <laughs> but we saw what happened. Yeah, it was a good, um, good finish. No, it was a, an amazing finish for a centre back. Yeah, no, and fair enough, fair enough, mate. Look, the captain scored. That's what the, this is when they need the captain to up his game and start scoring. Yeah, and he did it. Yeah, so two two all to play for. About thirteen minutes left in the game. Atalanta has the possession at the moment with Zapata. Kicks Ooh, it to beautiful man. To That's Milanoski. Those passes make me so happy. I know, right? And the controls. Zappa Costa Plays on the right flank. There's uh, Ronaldo's coming back to defend. He's desperate. Do you know what? He everyone's must have saying heard that everyone's saying that he doesn't defend. Yeah, exactly. Everyone Atalanta needs a red card. Wow. Are you really going to say that right now? <laughs> Is that really how you you're want your team to win? You're biting off more than you can ch- You're asking for your cake and eating it. That's what you're doing right now. I like some cake right now. You know what? Me too. We've had some, we have some ice cream after this. You guys are... Well, he doesn't care because he's not eating. So. <laughs> <laughs> he might start eating Zap- after this game. Zapata. Here we go. Cross in. Oi. If you that, know. If, if that was played a bit better, it could have <laughs> snuck its way into the goal. Maybe if, uh, if the, um, the ball was a bit further back, yeah. Do you know but what He should have pushed up the attacker a bit ag- more. I agree. Zapata has been incredible. Yeah, no, genuinely, he's, he's been so composed. Well, he's been composed with the ball, and he's been very confident, and he's been trying to make chances for this Atalanta team. Mm-hmm. He's he's quite a big individual, and he's very he's fast. Graceful, he's graceful. Yeah. I think it's very hard to get. I think the perfect striker is big, in terms of height. He's big. In terms of height, yeah, um, is fast mm-hmm. and is graceful, Holland. very composed. Holland, and you Holland just, is that You just man. described Holland. There's a foul outside the box in a very good position for Manchester United. United, here. God of Soccer, Manchester United needs you. Right now is the time, isn't it? It's the time and the place. Messi's the God of Soccer. He's busy. Oh, by the way, Bruno Fernandes had a shot, who, which was saved. Yeah. Um, yeah, they do need a God. They need the God. And you know what? Maybe they, your they, prayers are going to come true. There's got, a good chance here. When you're playing in Old Trafford with all the to fans. You. It gets to and, you. And they manage to come back from 2-0 to make it 2-2. It, it starts the fans yelling, supporting this team. Yeah. It's 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 Manchester United at Old Trafford, and it's a European Ronaldo? night. Ronaldo? Oh, blocked by the it defender. Is, blocked. It, is it corner now? I'm not sure if it's a corner or throw-in. He's hurt. Ronaldo's that kick was when too strong. When Ronaldo yeah. makes a free kick and hits you in the head, you, you get a little dizzy. You get a little dizzy. <laughs> Um, he can see stars like the Champions League stars <laughs> <laughs> and you can see these hopes fading away because Atalanta are 
on the back foot right now. Yeah. United has been pressing like crazy. It's a corner. Played a short corner. Shaw. Bruno crossing Bruno. it in. Shaw Luke again. Shaw again. Passing it out to Fred. Fred Luke back Luke Shaw. To Shaw. <laughs> crossing it in. Ronaldo. <gasps> beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. You target that man. Season you head it. To- he didn't see. He slid this time. He slid right into the fans. What a goal. This is... You cross it into Ronaldo. Do you know what? You it's try and find Ronaldo. like it was rigged so that Ronaldo could score zero two for on Bayern, this by the way. occasion. 2-0 wow. behind El Trafford at home. Embarrassed by the Italians. And, and this then is you the, come and back. This is the game... That you come back. This is the game that Ole has always been done. Your prayers have been answered. You guys that were crying and lost your appetite, well, start eating because Ronaldo <laughs> has saved your asses Look, this once is, again. This is why we put United as a favorite to start contending for the league oh, for sure. because of this man. And this is why this man can score from anywhere. You can That's why he's send lethal. the ball up as high as possible God and of he's soccer. going to score. He is a god indeed among Amazing. men. Amazing. Um, Ole, you have been, you live to see another this, day. This man and has. And it is only because of Cristiano Ronaldo. So make him a shrine in your little house. Okay? The thing. <laughs> Probably have a big house, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> with that money. It's that just you're always this happens with Ole when he's in a hot, in a very That's what I said bad the form. Didn't I say it? Yeah, yeah. He he's always that bastard manages. going to pull through somehow. Yeah, he manages always to, fi- to find a way. But it wasn't him. I will say that. It was not him. It was his manager, his tactical approach to this game is poor. No, they they look horrible. They look like shambles in the field. They got lucky. On the field, yeah. Let's not get, be confused. No, no, let's, let's not... This is fortuitous. Let's not make it seem like Ole went in, into the... into halftime and yeah. made the beautiful pep, pep yeah. talk and created all yeah, of this. He didn't this actually is, give a pep talk, apparently. This is due to the brilliance that they have in some star players They've like Bruno Fernandes, no Marcus doubt. Rashford, Cristiano Ronaldo. We're talking about big stars here. Guys, but what a game have we chosen to watch with you guys. Two, Absolutely amazing. 2-0, two 2-0 zero, two nil down. Half Great time, news for all the fans. Ole is going nowhere, Michael. Yes. Half time <laughs> changes everything. And they're back in the 82nd minute, was it, that they scored? Something like that. First, yeah. Third goal. I'd just like to say, if they score another, I'm dying my hair. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot about that. <laughs> so this is making it interesting for all the fans. So let it's making it e- interesting let, for me. Let everyone know that <laughs> he's gonna start shaking every time Ronaldo. Every Juventus time, one nil for against Zenit. Every time United in the final third, you're gonna see him shaking and trembling a little bit. I'm already sweating. One more, he's asking one more, goal. one more goal from Cavani, Ronaldo, or Sancho. That's what you're asking for. Bayern three nil. Incredible. All the VR goals that were cancelled. It's an own goal for Everton. And I don't Jeez. know what the third goal is. I don't know. Not yet. fair. I played Man United win 10 to, to n- <laughs> 10 nil. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, 10 nil. <laughs> You're dreaming. You're, You're dreaming. dreaming, my guy. Um, crazy. Crazy game. I'm so glad that we witnessed it. Absolute staple moment, you know. It's amazing. For, for Ronaldo. Ronaldo. That's what you expect of the man. It's what you expect from Ronaldo a big night in the Champions League. It's mm-hmm. I saw Fabrizio just tweeted Champions League means Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo means Champions League. Mm-hmm. It's it's a beautiful romance. Absolutely. <laughs> hey Rita, thank you. I mean for for uh, tuning in. It's not always easy or convenient, but we appreciate everyone being involved. Yeah. Um the the final code's going to come out in about Six minutes um, when the game's over. <laughs> Did you see what Papa Tunde said? <laughs> um, Papa Tunde, can't wait to play with United on Saturday. Jurgen Klopp will make sure Oli Gunnar is well revealed, f- relieved I, from his post. I Absolutely. Just, I'd just like to say that the last time that a United manager got sacked was when they played against Liverpool and Shakiri beat United at Old Trafford. Listen... Liverpool so. is the most enthralling team in terms of attacking. They are... I don't know if they're going to be able to keep up. Their attack is ecstatic. Like, they are so excited to have the ball. And there's no team like them in the league. No. City is dangerous. They are efficient. But they are not full of the thrill of life in football. It's it's r- rock and roll. 
rock and roll. 90 minutes for Liverpool. It's like watching a concert and everyone's getting, t- tearing their shirt off at the end, throwing guitars and jumping into the crowd. That's what Liverpool will give you. They're not very defensively organized, especially this season. They haven't been. They conceded two the other, yeah, just last night. Yeah. Um, and very messy goals. Um, <laughs> thank you guys. I almost broke down. I love y'all. We're here for you, man. We won United 3 1 that day. We can do it again. Yeah. Well, yes, I agree. And, and Mourinho got sacked, if I'm not mistaken. It was Mourinho with a Shakiri masterclass. <laughs> um, listen, guys, it's all to play for this weekend. But again, like I said, Liverpool are thrilling in a way that. Well, United is pretty thrilling too. I mean, uh, it could Bayern be four nil. Could be a very interesting matchup. Lewandowski scored, by the way, the third oh, goal for Bayern. Lewandowski. Don't know who scored the. Fourth you love this yet. show. We love you. We love all our viewers. Thank you, everybody, for the support. Don't you see, we brought you luck. It's like because we were live that they won. It's the only that reason that, that happened, by the way. Only it wouldn't reason. Wouldn't have happened otherwise. They heard that we're live. At halftime, I gave, I rang up CR7 and I said, "You're gonna score the winning goal." For our fans. For our viewers. <laughs> Ronaldo's the man of the match. Do you think Juliet? Well, I think the change. I think it's Bruno. No. I think he actually orchestrated. He's been more instrumental. He's but the person who's going to get the newspaper highlight is... Uh, Ronaldo, Ronaldo for getting the winning goal. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you, Pascal. Lewandowski has been painting the whole of Europe with goals. Yeah, he deserves the Ballon d'Or. Absolutely deserves it. Yeah. And the consistency is just... Incredible. Thank you. Thank you, guys. You're all giving us support. We appreciate it. Other B. Thank you. We love you, too. Um, the game is kind of coming towards a conclusion of sorts. Um, it's been exciting, though. It's, it's been, been amazing. great. Yeah. It's been lovely. Um, United have, I like to say that United have double the chances. 22 from shots, 9 on target, and Atalanta have had Atalanta shots, have been on target. much more uh, efficient. And hitting the target, obviously, but mm-hmm. what matters is the goals, getting them behind the net. Fred is off for Matic for an injury. Matic is a great player. He used to be amazing. Past his prime Especially now. at Chelsea, he used to be amazing. Yeah. Kind of underrated, if you think about it. He was. Overall. He was, especially for Chelsea fans, he was mm-hmm. underrated. Underappreciated. Man, I don't know what's happening at Chelsea and if those um if Lukaku and Werner are seriously injured could change the game. Um very interesting show, yeah. Thank you guys. I really appreciate it. Yeah, coming towards the end now. Um we're gonna release the last code. Very soon. Once the once yeah. the whistle blows, so just hold, just hang in there for a little longer. <laughs> thank you, thank you for the comments. Panda Coro, not this show rocks. Thank you. Do you know what? It's no like, code. He said it. Do you know what? <laughs> it's like you know what we should do. It's like at the end of the performance when we bow down. We're like, thank you guys. Encore, encore. We appreciate it. <laughs> So, if we look at every score, yeah, it's been thr- pretty thrilling, isn't it? Um, it has been. It's been the most interesting game so far. A comeback, incredible comeback. Yeah, and I'm giving no credit to Ole. I, I want to make that clear right now. I am not giving credit to Ole. I never will be giving credit to Ole. Yeah, no, fair this, enough. This is just he doesn't really deserve it to be honest. This is just brilliant football. Yeah, from some stars that are are part of this team. Mm-hmm. Ronaldo, Bruno Fernandes, as we said. It's just... We got a new subscriber? Always being carried. Welcome, Vadim, to the... Um, Welcome to the Panda Podes- Podcast family. To the community. What are a group of pandas called? <laughs> I don't know. Let's call it a... Um, the Panda Pandemonium. Army. No, we're going to call them the Panda Army. Okay, yeah, pand- Panda Army. Yeah. You are all a part of the Panda Army now. Army? I don't Samurais? Know. <laughs> yes, Panda Samurais. <laughs> Welcome to the uh, Samurai Army of Pandas. <laughs> I don't know why I made it so complicated. <laughs> but yeah, we love this family. It makes us so happy to hang out with you guys and to talk. 
We could talk for hours, you know. We've been talking for almost two. Yeah, um, maybe we'll just keep on going. No, no, no. The code is coming. <laughs> the code is coming. Don't you worry. Once that last whistle blows, four minutes at a time, nothing's going to happen. Another two minutes left. Absolutely nothing's going to happen. I think um, this is going to, yeah. Guys, um, don't forget we're to gonna, subscribe. We're going we're gonna to save my hair, obviously. <laughs> We've got Pascal saying the pan- Pandanians. Pandanians. Mm. You know what? We're going to make a nice little ring to everybody. Panda Army. Thomas in Follow us on Twitter and maybe we're going to, you know, make a poll. And yeah, we, and we'll the fans make a can poll. decide. We'll think about some special names. Yeah. Uh, on SofaScore, Bruno has been rated 9.3 and I do think he is the man of the match. Yeah. Um, we've got someone who agrees with me. No credit to Ole. It was a lucky night for no tactic coach like him. Yeah, no no tactics. You got no tactics, man. Horrible. Um, I'm now pand- Panda Army. It sounds nice. Yeah, it does sound nice, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, join. Inviting my guys to the next show. You better invite everyone. Guys. Invite. We want. S- send it on. Post it on social world. media. Panda bubbles. Panda bubbles. <laughs> that doesn't sound very intimidating, <laughs> does it? We're not teddy bears. Um, but yeah, no, panda bubbles. <laughs> I'm forever blowing bubbles. Pretty panda bubbles. bubbles in the air. <laughs> one minute left, guys. One guys, minute left. One minute left. Taking this opportunity. Follow us on Twitter. We're going to be posting more We've often. We've got all our social media right here. Every, t- every time we do... S- <laughs> I'm a panda samurai. Every time we do something, we post it on Twitter. So you don't want to miss out. Retweet it, obviously. Fo- subscribe. And hit that bell button. Very important. Because when you hit that bell button, then you get all the notifications. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Panda zombies. <laughs> we're going to give out the last code now. Um, but yeah, welcome to the army, guys. We're, we're, we're a family now. Another 30 seconds left. Good night. Uh, um, Good night, Abidemi. Yeah, it was, it was nice having all of you. Um, yeah, let's, let's just give out the code now. All right. Panda Samurai. They like it. Everyone's liking they the Panda like Army it. and the Panda Samurai. <laughs> Even Panda Bubbles, you know? Anything Panda is amazing. Um, tell all your friends to join next time because we want the more people we have, the more discussions that we can have. Exactly. And the more we're going to be able to bring Panza you these Mundas. kind of lives. <laughs> <laughs> these kindness. <laughs> it's chaos. It's absolutely... Thank you, Thomasin. It's lovely to have you again. The match has ended and here is the last part of the code it's officially out all three parts are out which means of course that the game has come to an end um wrapping up every champions league fixture at the moment yeah um nice haircut spiros thank Listen, you very much you should Kalidos. have been here last week when everybody was gushing thank over you kalidos <laughs> <laughs> yellow cards by the way at the end of the oh, game oh yeah matish and cavani yeah chaos Thank you, everyone who's complimenting us on the show. Don't Thank forget to hit the for like the button. Hit uh, that like please button. Please hit the like button. Show, share the channel with your friends. Share the videos. Honestly, guys, if you like it that much, tell all your friends to watch it next time. And put it on Facebook. Why not? We're going to have um, all the little sections that we reacted to um, bookmarked at the end. Yeah, anyway, um, game's over. Wonderful match for United fans. It was a wonderful match for a neutral. A lot of prayers were put up in this We've seen. Stream. We've been through it all together. We've been through uh, distress, starvation, chaos, and now we're back. Now we're here, back to all I lives to Ole, see another day. Only living another day, which I don't know if that's quite peaceful. Yeah. Well, fair enough. Um, yeah. Thank you to everyone who tuned in. And yeah, anything else you want to say? No. Game's thank you everybody over. for the support and the love. Yeah. Thank you guys oh, so much. And we will see you again very, 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 very soon. soon. Good night. All right.